All right, guys, welcome to the Modern Conversation. I've got a special guest on today, Javen Alexander from the Spoken Word podcast, yes, which you may have heard yourselves. Today, we're just going to be discussing the title of whether university is, is a scam, the pros, the cons, and the experiences that we have both had. But before we do that, let's get into the, into the introduction. And it goes like bam, bam, bang, and that's fine. I can edit that out. So, Javen, I just want to introduce yourself onto, obviously, this channel. Um, just tell us a bit more about yourself, the spoken podcast, and what you're currently doing. So, yeah, so obviously, you, I mean, you know me from university. So, obviously, yeah, I recently started the spoken word podcast with my co host, who's not here today. So, it's just me featuring on the show on the, what's it, the, modern, com- the modern conversation, as we all call it. Right. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just a guy that likes to talk, just talk about anything and anything going on in the world yeah. and current affairs everyday issues everyday um life so so yeah happy to be a guest and just the- before go- yeah i was just gonna say as well before we get into this discussion listen we've had this conversation with university as a scam as well please check out uh javens and the spoken word podcast uh i'll put the youtube link in my description anyway just check out his channel check out uh some of the content videos he's put out he's put a lot of good stuff out so i really recommend a lot of the you're videos that me, me, right? yeah so now nah, just check it out you know just check it out and uh you know for some of the stuff you might find interesting a lot of stuff that he put recently i found interesting myself so please yeah just have a look at that check that out and give him a like and if you want to give myself a like as well anyway moving on now so how this title came around obviously is university of scam or not i remember in first year i saw javen on campus all right just walking around normally i think it was first or second year i can't remember which year it was and i just remember us going up to him and saying bro javen i think university is a scam you know i think we're being scammed here and it kind of led me into this thought over the course of the years of whether really university the experience and stuff is not really a scam but necessarily are you really getting for what you pay for in terms of your money um, I don't know what your take on that, Javen, is whether you're kind of, in a sense, first year, or not even first year, all years of university is a scam or not, whether, yeah, what your take really on that is. Boy, where do I, where do we start, man? Um, well, I'll say from first year, I'll say it's definitely not a scam, and it kind of is in one way, because, obviously, from a financial yeah. perspective, when you when it comes to tuition fees, obviously, not counting towards anything some people could argue it's a scam but from everything else bro that was prime uni man i enjoyed first year man you know what i mean first year was a sick year man i think it's in terms of the just the social i think first year heads more towards the social aspect you know like the academic aspect i mean let's be honest that's a write-off because it doesn't even count anyway all you have to do is pass yeah man was it percent to pass that's what you have to do yeah, all you have to do is pass. So get forty percent, and you're you're on to the next year, man. So it's kind of like, what is the point of even really trying to make effort for your first year? You know, what is the point of even having that system in place if it doesn't count towards anything? You know what? You know what you could say about that, right? Is I I like to say like you have no idea what really an assignment looks like because obviously a lot of it is an assignment, or even like a university exam. Yeah, if you've had that GCSE exam, if you've had a level exams, B text, whatever that is, coursework throughout, you know, but at universities, it's a, it's a different ball game. So it could you, you could say it'd be a bit harsh that we put in, we get a mark in the first year without any prior experience, and that counts towards your yeah. final mark. Do you know what I mean? You're kind of yeah. finding your way, you're kind of finding out how to reference and everything. So you can kind of argue it's like what what I say first year is you can see where you're currently at if you try if you give an honest attempt you can kind of gauge where you're currently at how 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 good you can perform across at least six units whatever whatever course it is how much units we did six so i got i mean i know i know i tried i tried in first year i didn't try my absolute hardest not not it's not not, not that no i went not that i intentionally did that but i tried I, I mean tried but i didn't know how to try hard if that makes sense you're kind of finding your way you're you're lo- you're, you're finding your feet i don't what well, like you though what do you say about that? I think first year, it's actually quite funny. In terms of my experience, actually, what I found, my perspective was different. So you know how, for example, some people don't even tr- don't try for first year. I actually, coming to uni was actually very weird for me because in the sense of when I first started, I tried too hard, if anything, man. I was banging out work like a fi- third year student, all this sort of stuff. It was only later on I got to the point and the un- 
I think with uni, you understand it more later on in terms of like, not even like your first semester, go maybe towards the end of your second semester, probably even towards the end of the year, you realise kind of what the tricks and codes of of uni, because there are some hacks, you know, of uni, like I'm not saying you can cheat to, too well at uni, obviously not, but there are certain hacks that you can do to do well. Um, and yeah, I think it's just because of the fact it doesn't count, it kind of, people don't really try. Um, but from my experience, man, I kind of, if anything, I put too much effort actually. And then I realized actually, what am I doing? I'm not, it's about working smart in a sense rather than hard, you know, similar, quite similar to a gym, you know, when you go to the gym, obviously you need to put the work in, but you need to do it smartly. You know, because yeah. I don't know if you, you've had certain experiences as well with this. We'll go into more discussion about this, but certain assignments, man, the certain assignments, you probably didn't even put as much work in and you ended up getting like a good grade. Uh, and that's not just first year that can be abroad from first second third year well, throughout your experience but obviously so certain things you maybe you worked your ass off or you banged in like I don't know a certain amount of hours in and then you didn't get the grade you want I don't know if you had that similar experience you know that was that 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 came that came in the more later years when it's more than the first year but I, one thing I would say about the first year bro is like for a lot of most of the unit I think it was like a, a social perspectives unit I had no clue what the theories were after like weeks. Yeah, I, I forgot what the theory, what, what, what he was even looking at, to be honest. So I yeah. have, I actually managed to do well in the exam. I got like 68% in there. I'm thinking, Jesus, man, I haven't paid attention for, it's like, it's like I was going to the lesson, even though I was paying attention, it's like, it, it completely went all out of my head. I was looking, well, I don't even know where we were. I was lost. But, yeah, bro, actually, I actually had a, had a friend, obviously he was on our course, where it was the research skills uh, exam, I think, he said he did not do any work for it. And somehow he banged out like a high two one, mm. like just, 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 just turned up and banged it out, even though he did, did no work for it, comparing to other people who actually did, probably were like more stressed out about it. There was one of us as it's quite interesting, like how that's the case. So that's kind of where you think universities are sometimes just weird, man, in terms of academic side, but in terms of, you know, what what was your take on the social side like in terms of first year? Because obviously first year is a very you know social aspect towards university. You're meeting people, bro, random people, bro, sort of thing. Like, bro, in social first year, yeah. When you're first, when you first walk through that campus, or you've moved to the new town or city from even from there, right? I mean, you're I'm from London. I mean, you're 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 from you're from Oxford, isn't it? So yeah, I've moved there, and it's like everybody and anybody wants to chat to you, wants to be your friend, isn't it? <laughs> which is, which yeah, is, right crazy. Now, I've, I've seen some things, man. So obviously I knew you quite early on in the first year. I mean, we was in the same halls, you know what I mean? It's yeah, like, well, we yeah. see you lingering around. Yeah, that's the same. It's about the same face everywhere, man. That same face on the I campus. On the uni, halls. uni bus. And I mean, you can see, like, you sit next to me, you sit near me, like right in front of you, give me the nod, isn't it? And I'm just like, no, but I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just thinking of going to the university, isn't it? And then what happened after that, how we became friends, didn't it? I think it was when, bro, because I had the most weirdest flat, man. I remember talking to you a bit about that. <laughs> and then started getting talking. Yeah. And you, like, you invited me to your to your, to your your flat, which was, what, what floor was yeah. you in? Was it floor one? What's that floor? Uh, yeah, it was first floor. Flat, first seven, floor second floor. flat 17, I think. I was on the floor three. Yeah, your fourth floor, third floor, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. On the first yeah, your flat. Yeah, I remember that. I remember you telling me. I remember you. You're coming around. You came even into my flat, and it was a different vibe that you were getting, man. But from the stuff you're telling me, to obviously not going into too much details with that, obviously. Yeah. But yeah, man, they, your flatmates. You know, if they're watching this, you like a bookie, man. I'm telling you, you do some madness in in his flat and some of the stuff that was going on, man. Yeah. Um, I think that kind of shows a side where. Quite interestingly, not first year because you don't, you're too involved in all the situation. I think in terms of like the going out, meeting people, yeah. especially if you're going, you don't know anyone, man. It's kind of like you have to build, and it's a lot around social status. I'll be honest, in terms of university, if you have good social status, you'll find it very easy. But if you don't have that social status, you might not find the experience as worthwhile, if that makes sense. But um, yeah, man, like it's all very social aspect. But you kind of realise over the time of university that it's quite fake. And I'm not saying like everyone is fake. Do you know what I mean? It's just like certain things, man. A lot of people can be two-faced. They just want to chill with you because 
you know obviously so you've got maybe got certain status you've got certain popularity or you've got a certain uh name to your you know credentials you know and stuff like that i don't know what your if you've whipped I mean, we spoke about this over well, the course of the years we've is, witnessed this ourselves in our eyes but obviously we're not going into too much too much like detail yeah, yeah. On the review, all the stuff but what i would say is that we so we 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 we've been to get we've been around each other a lot especially like the first year like introduced me to some of you people that you knew and then I got involved yeah, and yeah. there was a certain somebody that you was helping me get involved with, with a certain guy that used to yeah yeah he's a funny guy in it he left a few he left like, you know what I'm talking about he left in, he left in the, after like first year then well he didn't leave he had to retake and then he didn't really come back full time and all kind of stuff and then obviously you know them ones man that's sometimes first year is like EastEnders man like the amount of drama that goes oh, on mad bro it's it's like it's like a soap opera in itself, man. Just the amount of stuff that goes on. When looking back on it, I'm thinking, we could have made a TV show around this, man. We could have really, you know, bro, put this on Netflix. People, people you introduced me to in the first year, bro, they are EastEnders to a few, man. They are <laughs> 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 uh, it's actually true, man. And that's, listen, if there's anyone out there who's watching this and thinking of attending university, man, like, it's not just, like, because obviously you went to the same uni. It might be, the unis apply across pretty much similar, uh, we're talking about obviously UK based, but worldwide, we're not too sure how they operate, obviously. But yeah, man, this is the certain things. If you come into first year, obviously, you'll experience this a lot. Obviously, it must have changed now because of COVID and, you know, virtual, you know, a lot of classes are on virtual. You can't obviously meet with your course mates and stuff like that. Bro, if you were in first year, right, and you went, you were going like now, say you were going like you in first year now, COVID and stuff, like how would you even respond to that? Like, I know obviously you've had the experience now living the first year life, like how would you deal with it now? Because it's tough, isn't it? Like you can't meet up with people, you can't enjoy it. Is this me, is this what, is this me going into new or I'm already there? You're already there, you're already there. Do you know what? If your question was, am I going to uni? I'd be like, I ain't going. Yeah, yeah. I'll, 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 I'll defer the place. But the problem is, imagine the people who have done gap years, who have done taken a year out. Mm. So they finished, I don't know, college or sixth form, whatever. Then they take a year out. Yeah. Then they kind of think, okay, I haven't got much time to waste. For example, I want to go now. Yeah. Then they have they've been struck by COVID and their first year is ruined. Like, how do you even deal with that? You know, in terms of that, like, you know what? Same for everybody else as well, though. So if you're school, I know what you mean. Yeah, I, I actually, I never actually thought of that. I thought all your things except for that. Um... If you can, do you know what I'll say? If you really want to get your money's worth and full experience of uni, I'll defer the place. I'll decide to you defer. I'll say, you know what, defer the place. And if you can get work in that year or do something to improve your skills, do that for the, the year. Yeah. I know there's not much, obviously, there's not, there's not a lot much you can do for COVID, a lot of things we're on lockdown, etc. But if there's find a way we can feel like everyone's at home because in lockdown, I'll say to her, like, teach yourself some things try and try and build up something or if you can get if you can find work where you, where you manage to get little work that is out there earn some yeah. money save up then go the next year and you you're better off that's yeah. actually a really interesting point because later on actually will come on to more like in a sense what maybe we would have personally done differently in terms mm -hmm. of university and obviously like maybe some advice for the people who are thinking of going to university maybe then they gap year or they're, they're still young or they're 16 and maybe they're looking towards heading to uni and some advice that they can take obviously going into that direction listen um going into like second year okay like moving more now towards the second year like the intensity of the academic academic side kind of gets a bit i wouldn't say harder but just it's, there's more work you know in a sense like do you feel like second year is like quite a vital year for you? Was quite a vital year for you in terms of like the workload and stuff? Or did you feel like you could relax still a little bit like first year? I don't know. What's your view? Bro, I would say, yeah, with that, you can actually, it's a bit of both. You, you still, it's still a bit relaxed, but it's work. There's work to be done. The reason why yeah. I, say, I say, I say, you know, I'll say it is a vital year. And the reason why I'll say that is because you're now, it's the first time that your, 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 your marks actually count towards your actual final mark, which is important. Yeah. And not only that, this is what I'll say. If you really tried the hardest at the first year, but it didn't count, you can kind of gauge, you can kind of gauge what you're capable of, yeah? But if you didn't try hard, if you really taken the, 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 the piercing and then, I'm not allowed to say that on your show, sorry. Man. 
Yeah, yeah. no, it's if fine. I can say that, I know the ones with it. I don't yeah, even know. I'll say that. I don't get in trouble with it. But what I say is like, I'm really like, you're taking the, like, the mick and like you're literally just scraping past his by skin of your teeth, yeah, when, when you shouldn't have. You kind of have no real idea what you can achieve if you actually put in the work in. And the first time you do decide you want to put in work in, it's always going to count because you're now second year onwards. That makes sense. Um, so I'll say it is vital, and also it gives you it gives you a good um, yeah, it gives you a bit of a clearer picture to see where you're at. But also yeah. something that was interesting in the second year. So in the first year, I didn't I didn't know how strict obviously the people were, but like, I, I remember referencing and put it like, cited by something in it. And then I remember the second year, we did a psychology yeah. unit. And honestly, I was gonna put that in there again, but then I was warned by yeah. someone, don't do that. They don't like it, yeah. reference the original source. And then somebody, and then some, and then people didn't. And then when it came to the final summary of the marks, we came out, the, per, the um, lecturer revealed why some people missed out on certain marks and they said, you didn't, you didn't reference original source, and I was like, oh, I remember that, yeah. You, the funny thing is, this is how kind of uni can scab as well. Mm. Like, obviously, they tell you from an academic side, all right, you need to go to the original source. Like, whenever you read anything, you ideally, to get the original uh, point across, you kind of do need to go and read the original point made from the original yeah. author. Now, let's be honest. People don't do this, man. This is actually a tactic, a hack, like where you can just read an article. It's been put in a paper. Yeah. Uh, they've referenced someone else, but they kind of they paraphrase a paraphrase, and that just means we word a worded point, basically. So it's kind of like you're kind of in a sense not you're not cheating, man. But it's kind of like it's a hack, isn't it? Like to be able to save time because the fifth the thing when you're under pressure, yeah. you're writing assignments and stuff. Let's be honest, man. Who goes to all the way to the original source? reads that whole paper just to get that one little point and then come back and, and you know and type it up when you, you could just what? write it you've got it there and then you know once with anything in life yeah and the same applies to uni once you understand how the system works you can make it yeah, work yeah. for you you can make yeah, it work for you i used to do that i used to go finding the original source and now later on i still did obviously i still did that at times but then sometimes i was like you know what i was like you know what no one will know. I will literally say the original source without actually finding that actual point because who there's no there's yeah, nothing yeah. to regulate if you actually found that point, but you know it's in. I was like, yeah, they said it. Boom. Yeah. yeah. Save myself a lot of time and stress trying to find something. Exactly. You need to understand that's the, the thing, man. You realize, man, you can save yourself a lot of time if you do things smartly. And that's why I talk about the importance of working smart. Don't work overwork yourself because if you work smart and you know certain hacks and you work understand how the system works and you you can you can you can easily get good grades man like very easily man it's just understanding how the system works and certain tricks you can do it's not like shortcuts but yes and no like yes it's a shortcut in the sense you should you're not going to the actual original source in that sense to read it but it's a shortcut in the sense it will save you time it's on the day when you've got pressure you've got silence thrown on you the, the most important thing you need is time man like not everyone has that time depending on the course as well to like finish off all several assignments and certain units and stuff like that so I think it's just finding the tricks and codes, really. I oh. wish we had someone telling us this, you know, yeah, from, like in, before we even attended. In the, in the second year, do you know what? For me, second year, the second half I didn't like. The first half I liked it. Mm. Second year. Yeah. But at the end of the day, we always say this, but in the second year, I was like, man, I miss first year, man. Yeah. Bro, do you know, coming back, we'll go, come on back to that. But like, do you know what was uh, kind of not fraudulent, but listen, this is actually what I find funny. So me and Jay were on the same course. We do a course which I'll just name it because you probably know sports psychology and coaching sciences, right? We, that's our that's our course, yeah. That's the course that we did for three years, well, four years, including a placement. Which is now discontinued, Some, by the way. Well, yeah. Uh, people who don't even do any psychology. Mm. So let's say, for example, some people did marketing. Some people, one of my friends, he did product design. They actually did more psychology than we did even though it's in the name of our course. And that's why I think, well, what was the point of kind of doing this course in a sense if we're not getting what people signed up for, you know? So I don't know what your take on that is in terms of the title of it and if you felt like you actually gained from most from that course or not. Well, so we, you know what? We gained, I said I gained some stuff from it, but if you look at it as a whole, 
at what so what, I'll ask you a question before you kind of answer. What at mm. what point did you start questioning? Hold on, how much psychology do we actually do? At what year would you say that would we start questioning? I'd say second year, man. Second year, definitely start of second year. Mm. Um, I just got to. The, it was actually probably pretty much after psychology unit. I think in second year, um, or around actually that time, I was thinking, oh, no, nah, this course. I kind of kind of knew from then. Uh, no nah, this course isn't really for me like I kept it I did it anyway just to finish it off and finish what I started in a sense and but at that point I was kind of like yeah man like I don't know kind of why I did this course but I met obviously a lot of good people so that's why I don't really regret it because obviously I've networked and met a lot of good people good friendships and I had a lot of good memories especially from from that course I can't really take that back and I don't know if you when you kind of realized as well yourself you were like Bro, we're not doing any psycho, not even just psychology, but we're not even studying what we should be studying. Do you know what? I don't really that. Normally, I pick up on things quite straight away, but the first year, I didn't. Because, because the name is called Psychology and Coaching Sciences, do you know what I mean? And what I think happens yeah. with, with, some, with a lot of the people that were doing our course, they will start telling other people that they do sports psychology and then they'll leave out the coaching sciences bit. You know, that was very common yeah. for people to be saying. And I was thinking, why do you leave out that bit? I never understood that. Just say the whole course. I don't know if they think, oh, they can't be able to say the whole the whole name of the course. So if you start, if you keep telling yourself, I do sports psychology, you're just thinking psychology, 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 psychology. Now, here's what what, what I would say, here, right? Is for the first year, we only did one psychology. Yeah, we only did one psychology unit. And in the second yeah, year, yeah. The second year, we start to realize a bit. The two, like we? We are not doing as much psychology as, as as we first thought because. We did one unit in this we did one unit in the first year and in the second year we were just doing all these random silly silly stuff that actually became a unit like ppd i was like <laughs> i was thinking to myself well why don't we do oh, no. psychology stuff in it bro we didn't even do i know it's a different from course psychology we didn't yeah, even yeah. coaching we didn't do no coaching bro we didn't even do no coaching. oh yeah that's true and that, i think actually that put a lot of people off man because i think a lot of people actually came into the course for example with the idea they they actually really liked coaching there was something that they would go into yeah i think if anything actually put people actually do you know what it put people off the actual psychology and coaching parts which are the main bits of the course man and people started to realize you know what this is not the route i want to go down man and i think in a sense the course well not it's not just our course this is kind of applied to other, other other courses as well but it didn't provide the sense of knowledge and education that it should have really provided in the you know that it should have provided really what i'll say um, yeah, what i'll say is it, a lot of people think a lot of people came to realization after the like uh, midway to the second year that this is just a generic kind of like sports science degree really yeah problem yeah. With, now there's nothing wrong with that in principle the problem is we didn't apply to do sports science degree we applied to do sports psychology no. and science. they're two degree. different things they're two very different I mean, things so what, where was this we we to do sports psychology and coaching sciences degree. The first year we did we did one practical coaching bit. Listen, I was never I was never the, I was never the, um, from a pure coaching point of view. I never really came to uni to do that anyway. Really, I I just I just I wanted to do the psychology bit. Really, that's what I was more interested in. So but I couldn't embrace the little coaching the coaching that we did have to do in it. But so but the first the first year we did one practical unit. The second year that got changed during the course. On the slide, we became only theory in it, and then so people that wanted to do the coaching that really came to do the course to do a lot of coaching, they were they were they were a bit they were a bit um, annoyed with uh, a lot. They're very annoyed with that man because it's like they didn't they got robbed of it. It became theory, and then because one of the teach one of the lecturers changed decided well we're not going to do practical we're just going to do theory only. Mm. So yeah. kind of so if you think about it, the course kind of got robbed from both angles in one way, man. Yeah. And that's what I mean. At the end of the day, I think a lot of people realise they actually they didn't sign up what they signed up for, you know. And again, what uh, look at the information they provide on the the website. Was it was it as accurate as what was provided? I mean, that's how people start off uh, applying for things, isn't it? They go on the the website, they look at the course information. Yeah, they might do tours and stuff like that. I didn't do one uh, for for this uni, but I looked obviously on the website. I did a tour. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you did a tour, did you? Yeah, I think um, I think things like that are very important to honestly. They see, are, yeah, 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 they are. I think that's something I would have done differently, which we'll come on to later. But it's funny because, like I said, like we looked at the man. 
that that uh course information website it gassed it up man so badly man they were like literally the units were pretty pretty good actually from what i remember looking at the time i had an interest in sport and psychology at the time so it's like this is the ideal course mm. and then there was like the placement which actually stood out quite a bit as well you can go australia you can go here yeah. which we're going to get onto placement by which they're probably a very <laughs> big scam of this I, i'd say that's actually probably the most fraudulent part of it all oh 100 that was the <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> like that that especially your experience man when you were telling me um 100 man which it will be interesting to hear but like i said man that was the placement side was the most kind of attractive prospect of it all i mean most courses do a placement now anyway i think but like listen this is what i realize on that specific course man in which we'll get into more discussion listen like they don't they don't pay at you as well they don't pay you anything man we're, we're the only from what for my um circle of friends that was like pretty much the only course that didn't pay like pay you to do your placement did do your work placement but on other courses they paid you a certain amount or a salary mm. or expenses mm. um but we'll come on to that but yeah it didn't live up to what it said like they made you could work for chelsea like think about it, you're 16 say you're like 17 18 years old man you can work for chelsea you can work for football club you can work for you know these uh, high profile rugby teams or cricket teams and stuff like that yeah. and i think for a lot of people's experiences from even speaking to people it didn't absolutely did, did not live up to that man and there was no no contacts around in that man um but let's move on actually to placement now because that's actually where i want to go with that direction yeah and if you guys don't know what placement is placement is just like a year well around a year within um the work industry so you're basically going out you're getting the experience that you um that you need i think it's more related to your course you can't just go off and do working like mns and, and stuff like that you actually got to work in an area related to your course um first of all tell us a bit about your application site when you're applying for you know because we obviously we had to go on a certain um it's called like a hub and you had to obviously look for jobs on there and stuff like that and apply for jobs and then go for interviews just like a normal job actually so just tell us a bit more about your application process and kind of where it led to really i guess well let me just, let me just bring it back a bit back three so let me, let me let me go into that let me go let me just talk a touch on it's very in depth very page. in depth Right. When I first applied, it was at this course. So it seems to what you said. One of the unique selling points, so a USP, was the placement year. So when I was looking at that, yeah. um, when I was looking at the leaflet and everything, I was like, man, this this is worth this is worth going to for these reasons because mm. no, a lot of courses don't have um, placement years. The standard is actually three years at university, not four. It's four, but in our case, we did a sandwich course, so we had the placement, a work work industry year, as they say, we're going to work for a year. All right, put that in quotation marks. Yeah, stood out. So I was thinking, like you said, I was seeing Southampton Football Club. You can, I think, something about been working with athletes and um, rugby, yeah, rugby clubs doing this and that. And they, they, they really, they sold it very well, man. Their, their marketing yeah, game, I'll give them that. Their marketing game was on point, man. They were probably licking, yeah. their, licking their lips when they got when they got when they got our money, man. Because money making business, by when, the way. When, when, <laughs> when, I, when, when I applied for, that's the reason why. I chose this uni over the other unis that I did apply to. I think I got into like I got into middle six uh, uni as well. And I, mean, I got into. Oh, I heard of that uni. I, yeah. I, I think I looked at that one. Yeah, I think I got into Brighton and yeah, I did get into Brighton and that kind of stuff as well. But then Bournemouth, Bournemouth, the course. I started thinking, cool, you get an advantage. Like a lot of people, they, they they do the degree and they don't get the. They come out and they say, "Oh, sorry, you ain't got experience," or "Sorry, you ain't got enough experience." You know what they do after we trying to look for jobs and all that kind of stuff? They do those things, innit? So I'm thinking, well, how about we get the experience while we're at uni, and then even when we got the experience during the placement year, we go back to university anyway. So by the time we leave, we can say, "Well, I got experience. I I, I did this for a year. Do you know what I mean? Do that for a year. Here you go." They made the way they sold. They said that everyone. No, they said on that leaflet, everyone gets everyone gets a placement. They did say that. Yeah. Everyone gets yeah. a placement, man. And they made it sound like it was easy. So I just thought that like, all you all you say really is, oh, I want to go here. And they'd be like, okay, cool. So yeah, you can go here for a year or you want to go there. I, I, I actually thought that. Now come into second year. So come second year, we're applying to we're applying to placements like like we're applying for normal jobs. Getting rejected yeah. by this place. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Oh, that's not how the way it was sold, man, or, or marketed when when, when, when when we was coming here. We were applying to we were applying to places, yeah, we were applying yeah. for the jobs. That was that that was that was a that was a pain, and that was stressful because we we're, we're working yeah. on we're working on like work that counts. 
It's our first year that's counting towards our final mark. And then we're getting told we had we we we, we had um lecture lecture rooms lectures where they were talking about placement and then how we should be applying to tons and tons of jobs a day, obviously related to our industry, not like like you said, not like going to like MS or anything like that. Yeah. And they, they they said, Oh, we obviously I think someone asked a stupid question, one of the people asked a stupid question. I'm not gonna name the person yet. She's she's I think she was all right, she helped me with it, but it was a stupid question at the time. She asked. How many people want to be paid? And then yeah, the every person put their hand up like this. And then I was like, well, <laughs> I know what you're gonna say now. I remember, yeah. yeah I think I remember. Yeah. And you 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 was you must have been there, innit? And I was like, yeah. Yeah. So like, everyone said, yeah. And then she was like, Oh, I can't say she's a girl, I said it's a lady, didn't it? What she was like, oh place football clubs don't pay. I was like, in my head, I was like, okay. Now here's the thing. I w- I'm, I'm gonna lie to you. Originally, even though that was annoying to hear, mm. I thought by being in part of this football club, I didn't. I did, it wasn't the be and an end all to me. I mean, some people it was in it, but I didn't think. I didn't think. I didn't read deep at the time. I just thought, okay, that's a bit. It's a bit annoying, and it's a bit of a thing because it's like it'll, you're working, but you're gonna get a good, you're gonna get a massive great experience. So you're really gonna go on your CV. Do you know what I mean? It's really good to put mm. down. Yeah, yeah, I'll be open. I'll kind of be open to. I'll, I'll, I'll be open to. It. I'd rather obviously get paid. I'm only working for free, but there's more to it than, than that. Some people it was being lindle. So I'm mean, applying to jobs. And this year, I was just, I was just only looking at the football club job because I really wanted a role in the football club. I was applying to be um it's not kind of like the sports scientist intern roles, I was looking at performance analysis. I had it in my head I wanted to get into performance analysis at the time. I was doing the performance analysis roles. That's my main thing. I saw my sort of psychology role. And those play and they, they only get those people done early. So I was applying and playing, and I was getting I either wasn't hearing back or I was getting like re- rejected at the first hurdle or something like that. And then yeah. we were, well, we was getting encouraged to apply to anything and everything. It's the point we just apply for single applying, but I think told them, because they were saying, you know, if you don't find a placement, you ain't coming back afterwards. I know. I know you have to fill a certain amount of, do a certain amount of weeks. It's, it's, yeah. it's, it's a pressure to get a job. So, it, and then I remember yeah. one time, I think you, you got a placement at the time you thought you were going to it. You got a, you got a place a placement at a football club. I remember, yeah. I remember it was in the library, it was working on um, the psychology unit. I think we was doing things like the infographic. Do you remember that? That's the second part. Yeah, I remember. I, remember yeah. I was literally across you, and you was like, "Yes." I was like, "What?" It's like got got interview for 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 um, for, for for placement in it. Yeah. Yes, yeah. man. I was like, "Yeah, man." I was thinking to myself, yeah. "Okay, cool," <laughs> but okay, yeah. I, I I ain't got anything yet. What, yeah, yeah. what what month was this around anyway? Um, we had to start applying very early, so it must have been November, December, going on a bit more. Even. No, you got, I think you got the interview around Jan, you know, January. Oh, the interview, the interview was later when it was about February. Uh, February, yeah, I think around then. Jeez, man, February. You got they that. even pay for expenses, man. Mm. And yeah, yeah, you did get that. But the thing is, though, I didn't get anything. But it turned out. I did get an interview at some stage as well, the same club as you did, but for a different role. Do you remember? Yeah, yeah, no, I remember. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't get, I didn't get, I didn't get through after that interview. You, I mean, I know you got offered, you got offered the job, didn't you? Yeah. And at one point, I got, I did another interview. I got, I applied to another um, football club, and I got in. I actually got in. I got mm. the interview. Then I actually got offered the role. Started the next season, and that came in later on. And I was thinking, I was thinking, finally, man, that's happened. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, where do you go? Where, where do you go from there? What happens after that? It's like a, do you know what? It's like a blur to me, isn't it? It was yeah, so it, it, that year. It's like yeah. I can't remember the chron- chronological it's, order of everything that's happened. It's so weird. It's 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 not even long ago, but it is. It yeah, feels like God, no. it was like a lifetime ago, man, because so much just happened in terms of the process and and that's where kind of in a sense it comes a bit more. I don't say fraudulent, but a bit like. It's like you feel like you're, you're being sold a dream, effectively. You're, you're sold a dream. It's too good to be true, man. And you know this. How much did we play for that placement year? It was a grand, didn't it? Nine hundred to the grand? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You started... So I mean it. You, all right, tell me about your, your story. So you you kind of... you. When did you start? Was it June? I started... Yeah, I started June. Uh, so, yeah. So I obviously applied, as Jay said, I worked, I got this job. I gassed it. I'll be honest, I did gas it up, man, well, before, because it was a high-profile football club, man. Yeah. Premier League status. Of course you are. It's the top level. Like, you know, come on, let's be honest. When you're going to something like that, you think, whoa, yeah, but I'm a big boy, you know, sort of thing. But anyway, 
yeah go into that by the way this was not paid this was voluntary so that's kind of in a sense why i took it because of the level that it could offer and the experience i was like yeah this this would be sick man uh, be around these you know obviously mm. elite status footballers and stuff like that um i left after a week i left literally after a week of it man um for several reasons like you said it's like a blur man but i just remember it just they listen it, it's such a fraud man like they just they don't listen how this is what i don't understand this kind of goes a bit off topic but i'll try and keep on top of it as much as possible like you're working for a high profile club right and you you know you did yourself as a professional club they they have a lot of money it's private ownership how can they pay the people in front of you millions worth of pounds but they can't even pay you one penny they can't even pay you one penny but they can pay every everyone around that club millions of pounds not even and this is by the way just more the football players and the coaching team i would say that get the they get the big bucks like compared to the other stuff they don't actually get a significant proportion of money actually especially for the hours they put in man and you understand like the hours that you put in it's not a joke like when i was started there it was pre-season I was doing about 12, 12 hours, 13 hours a day, man. You don't even have time to chill out. Literally, you start your morning, you're there all day, come back at night, and you just go sleep. And you do the same thing again, pretty much like six, seven days a week, because that's the lifestyle that it kind of lives. Um, I, you had a similar thing, didn't you? Similar experience. Yeah, you, bro, you, know what it is? you know what it is? So obviously, back, a bit back again, but so obviously, you're all excited. I was excited when I finally got what I wanted. Yeah, of course. I, I, do you know what, to be honest, I did not even apply to every job under the sun, like every, like people being, nah, exactly. I didn't, it didn't, I, I was thinking by, it just didn't make sense, man, to me, it didn't really make any sense. Yeah, I was thinking, how yeah. about I focus on the quality of the application and really try and put myself out there and make, and then really try for something that I actually want, want to get, and just apply, yeah. to, do these half off applications to a bunch, and if, for the sake of it, man, that's, yeah. stupid, man. that's how you know the, 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 the place with, and if you want yeah. to do that, that's how you. That's a that's a red flag. You know that's a, um, BS. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. obviously I'm here now at the football club. But you have no idea. That's like similar to you. You have no idea how they're going to treat you. Forget forget even the money side. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah money side. That, it, that yeah. all makes sense to now why you don't get paid because they're going to work you to the max. They're going to take the liberties. They're going to make you. Yeah. You told me something about you getting off. You you have to pay for your own like cab cab fare. Yeah, you, man, it was expensive. I was quite far out. And because obviously they have their training grounds like in the middle of uh, nowhere. Usually most football training grounds are like very hidden. Mm. So in some booky place. So you have to get like a, I had to get an Uber man like there and back. It's pretty much, it's very, the only option was by bus, which I could have done, but that was, oh, that was a long man. And same with um, the only really um, accessible thing you could use as a car. I didn't have one at the time. Yeah, man. It's so expensive, man. Like they just, this is the reality. They do these you know, when you work for that level and stuff. And it depends if you have an interest in it, because some people actually do have an interest within that area, do want to go into that, and that's fair enough. Like, well, if I you want to do that, pick I yourself think, through that. The thing is, though, I thought that I wanted to go into that, though. That's the thing. Yeah. Really if it, it makes you realise, actually, you would never... It, the thing is, it's so... I'm not going to say, like, that's just in my, uh, my experience, and it's sort of, sort of very similar to yours. The experience is so... This feels very probably I'd say negative in a sense that you don't actually want to ever go back into something like that, man. Um, my experience is no. You don't have a life. You literally don't have a life of your own, man. And like you just how many days? How many pretty days? much get taken advantage. How many days a week were you working? Because I was there literally. Because I was there such a short time, I couldn't have judged it. But it would have been like five, six days a week, and that's like mm -hmm. including weekends and traveling and stuff like that. So you wouldn't have a lot of time off. Unsociable hours and all those stuff there. And... Unso yeah, yeah, it's unsociable hours as well. Yeah. You're literally just going home to sleep. That's literally what you're going home for. Yeah, literally. and they don't even arrange lists for you. Like, they pretty much, you have to sort, obviously, fine, you have to be independent and sort yourself out, but they don't, like, help you with anything or, like, they don't give you any, oh, you need to do this. Like, bear in mind, they don't pay you as well, so it's very difficult to pay. That's why you have to, you have to pay for your own stuff, find money somehow. Like, that's, you have why to you have to, somehow. that's why you have to probably go home after, like, a week, man. You couldn't sustain it, man. Yeah, yeah. It was, yeah, man, it was, it's not worth it. It's not worth it in the long term, unless you really, really desperately want to get into that area. I would say 100% it's not worth it, man. Sport placements on. are difficult. That's they they are difficult. On. But the thing is, though, placements yeah. for hours, that's what they prey on. Like, you're, you're desperate, you'll do anything, like, to, in their, in their thing, yeah. like, you, 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 you 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 suck a dick to get on placement, bro. Like, that's what I mean. <laughs> but, uh, I mean, you literally—that's what in their opinion, that's what they'll yeah. do. 
yeah? yeah. Sorry, I had to say that, bro, because that's what they nah, just, they, they, they'll, they'll say them kind of stuff, man. And um, yeah. so when, when I went in there, I was like, I, I applied to the first club. I, I left off, the, I think I left for six weeks. It felt like I was there for longer. I could, I'm surprised it was only six weeks, to be honest, man. Mm. I, I got there, got the interview, told me he wanted me there for next season, did well. Literally, I think it was, I think I was, I, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was supposed to start in July. I started in July, right? Literally, I'm leaving. I'm leaving the property I was in in, in in Bournemouth to move back to London for a year, and then like I think a few days before I went to start, I get a WhatsApp message from him. What's that message from him saying? Oh, sorry. Um, um, yeah, I think you, you you can't come into the office because not enough space, and then we can't pay for lunch or pay for lunch or something like that. For we can't feed you. And I, that is nonsense, it's all right. man. If it's, if it's all right, nonsense. you do it at home. And I was like. I bro, my heart, my heart just like sunk, man. Cause I was like, yeah, I need to be on there. Like this is, I got no, I got, I got. It's like a very little time to react, you know, to find something else. Because yeah. at that point, everyone should have had a placement by then, yeah. But yeah. I, think, I, did, yeah. I didn't think I was supposed to do so. Like that, that's what you should. They shouldn't even be doing that to me, innit? But that's what happened. Yeah. And I kind of told him the situation, and he was like, I think like I think. He said that, oh, it, I think it came back the same day later on and said, oh, yeah, I spoke to someone there. It, it's, it's sorted. It, it'll be all right or something like that. I was thinking, Jesus, this is dodgy, man. I should have known that, from that, were... moment, from that moment. I should have known it was dodgy, yeah. man. It was, I should have known it was yeah. dodgy. These yeah. people, they treat you like bitch boys, man. Bro, These people, they treat you like bitch I go boys. on there. I go on there, yeah. I'm not going to go day by day because that's a long process. Complete. That's a, yeah, of course. I, this, yeah. That is that's enough a for a separate point. conversation. But the gist of it, yeah. yeah I know it's, 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 it's constant for another day as well. But the gist of it, I'll go in there. The people were weird. There was a there was a lady in the office. She was a sports. I think she was the head of like the lead sports academy sports scientist. The woman would say hello or anything like that. My guy, who I was who I was kind of working under in one way, like the line manager, head of analysis, he was just doing weird stuff. Like he said, I can't, I can't get fed. Everyone else would get fed apart from me after being on my own food. Man, I had to work. I, had to work. I was. I, he made me work with broken equipment. And he was telling me to keep quiet about it in that like, hush, hush, hush. And then one time, like, one time, one time laughing. I think another one I'm laughing because it's just crazy. <laughs> you know I'm laughing, bro. But that's not a dickhead, man. You know what I mean? I think he's nah, man. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, one time, one time, this is what really happened here. Yeah. I think yeah, yeah. I was filming a friendly game. It was a friendly game. I, I can't remember the team that was playing. It was a friendly game, right? And the weather was very bad. I was working with this, like, what's the name of it? Oh, what's the thing called again? Uh, it wasn't a tripod. It was like, no, it's called, a, I think it's called a high pod. It goes right, it goes right, oh, okay. to, the sky. It goes right to the top, yeah. Yeah. And the weather was very bad. He calls me. He asks me, because he was somewhere else. He was, in, he was at another game. He, was, he wasn't on like, the training ground. He was somewhere else. Like, I think he's like, how short was yeah. He calls me. He's like, oh, hi, Javen. Um, how's the weather like, down, down there? And I'm like, oh, no, it's very bad and everything. He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, how bad? And I was like, yeah, it's very bad. And he's like, okay, cool. So if it continues, take down the, just take down the, the, the high pod, isn't it? Like, stop, stop filming. I was like, what, really? What? Well, I should stop filming. He's like, yeah, yeah. If the weather gets very bad, stop filming. Do that. Ten minutes in, yeah. I do what he told me to do, isn't it? I get a phone call from. I don't even know how this guy got my man, my number, right? From the, 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 the academy. Um, no, not the academy manager. The head of coaching. He calls me. He's like, oh, is this um, ah, is this, he, he says my name wrong in it. He's like, is this, is this Javon? I was like, yeah, it's Javon. He's like, yeah. He's like, oh, it's he says his name, called him from across the pitch, isn't it? I was like, oh, okay, cool. He's like, he's like, what's going on? I was like, oh yes, I've, t- I've um, I stopped filming, blah blah blah. My man, before I could even say the explain myself, my man went ballistic. He's like, how? How can you stop filming? <laughs> blah blah blah. What are you doing? Blah blah blah. I was like, oh, oh um, my yeah. days. Like, the line manager called yeah. me to stop filming because he told me the weather was bad. I should, I should take that on the thing. I asked him, he said, yo, he's like, no, it's not good enough. Blah blah blah. That kind of stuff. He's like, we'll talk about this after the game. Next thing you know, I come over and say, oh, what with me? What with me? Let's, let's talk. Let's talk. Going to office. Man's having a go at me for like a good 25 minutes, bro. I'm trying to say, well, oh, blah blah blah. And it's like, I don't know. You should use common sense. You've got to do this. You've got to find alternatives. You've got to make some impact on this club, blah, blah, blah. But I'm not being rude, but it's like, oh, if, if, you, if, you, if you jump, I know he's a line manager, but if you jump every time he says jump, I'm like, hold on a minute. I'm an intern. I've, I'm new to the place. 
Why am I? If the library's telling wow. me to do something, why am I telling them no? I'm doing whatever yeah. I'm, what I want. I don't come into the room. That don't make no sense. You know what I'm trying That's to say? Mad. Bro, mad. it was just crazy. I, it actually pissed me right off, man. It, it was a, it was a yeah. Saturday morning as well that happened, man. Yeah, it's ridiculous, man. It's like that, meeting, man. It's very. Yeah. That, there was a meeting on the Monday, and it was explaining the situation, bro. And it's like, what, 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 what the point is? Is basically, if you're an intern, you get blamed for anything, in it, even if it's not your fault. I people do things. And then you, they were the pick on you. Like, we're gonna, we're just gonna, we're just gonna yeah. blast the intern. Because it's easy yeah. for them. You're the low, you're the lowest. You're like the lowest of the lowest. You're like the lowest. It's, it's, you're like the rat. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it's, it's, like the, it's like deflection for them because they can talk to you whoever they want. You're an intern. We're not paying yeah. you. You need yeah. to be on the placement. They see us. We're doing you a favor. You're lucky to be here because you're at a, yeah. you're at a football club. You know, people will die fight their, their yeah. hand up to get into the thing. So that's why I left that shit, man. Right. I was like, "Fuck this, man! I'm not, I'm not getting, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not for this, man. I'm not for this slavery, um, doing this fucking, you know. Oh, you're gonna be working, you know, doing. So, for example, it's more the sports science area. You're gonna be doing the like, you know, heart rate and all that sort of stuff. I was literally an equipment packer up, put it away, sort of person for like a good old couple of days for it, man. It's, it's, it's yeah. If my advice is, man, people. If especially if that's more sports placement, obviously, but even placement itself, you need to look into what you're doing, man, and just know your ins and outs of it, and you know understand what what you're getting into before doing it, man, because it can really mess you up. Not mess you up, but it's just more like you won't get a good experience. You know, you're you're gonna have a you don't want to waste a year of having just a. If anything, the experience will tell you you never want to go back into that. If anything, that's what my suggestion is. I say another thing yeah, about on that, that experience before we move on, and I was like, was well, one time I think. There was a there was there was a few situations. So like there's a lunch. There was a situation where like one day like they said, oh, the the, the, the line manager he's an absolute crap man. Like he was like, oh, I can sneak I can sneak you in for lunch this day, isn't it? And he's using numbers like that, and he was like, I don't know, see, I come with him, go in the queue, and he's like, oh, if anyone else comes comes to the queue. You got to go, you got to keep going back to the back of the queue and let everyone else go in front of you. Even if you get close enough, you've got to go back to their back. I love like, that. Like, that is like, messed up, bro. Yeah. That is messed up. And, like, and yeah, then you... I'm just getting closer and closer because with him in the queue. He's like, oh, have faith in the chef. Have faith that he'll have food for you. He's like, oh, I'm sure, I'm sure that he'll have a bit of scraps, of scraps for you, innit? Jeez, scratch, man, word, that's scratch. a scratch, man. Wow. Like it? a hyena, man. Yeah, for you. I, get, I eventually get food, oh, and then everyone's like, bare, giggling and laughing. It's like, ah, you're getting fed. Ah, you got lunch. It's like, hey, come on, come on. I was like, what's oh, going my on? Days. Taking a piss, bro. bro. That's why, I mean, yeah. Like an office, next thing you know, yeah, the, girl, the, 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 lady, the, the lady in it, she starts saying, oh, are you well fed and everything? And you lunch like, like stuff, in it? Kind of stuff. Later on in the day, do you know what I mean? Something happens. I think I was asked to do a task, in it? I was to take some good photos of some players, didn't it? I do that. And then she was like, she made a comment at the end of the day saying, oh, you you, you earned your lunch today. I was thinking to myself, do I just want to a slave or something? Are you taking a piss on prick? <laughs> yeah, bro, it's, I'm telling you, it's bro, literally like that, man. What it is, yeah. the reason why this is, this is wrong, yeah, so we pay what, a good 900, a, a thousand pounds. I know it's nowhere near nine grand, but it doesn't matter, still money to get abused. You know what I mean? Mm. Like, what, what, what's the point of all that, man? It's not, it's not yeah. right. And my problem is, the reason why I'll say, what, what's even the biggest problem that I got with this, right? Beyond the fact that we paid for that year and that's happening, I contacted the university. I told them what was going on. Yeah, yeah. The, the whole conversation for a whole other day. That's why I this is the place. Was this the coordinator? Was this actually the so, university itself? One, I think I, um, it was. Oh, I can't remember what they, I can't remember who what they, what they, what, they, what they, the, the name of the role is. I I was dealing with a lady in it, and she that's, yeah, and she said, "Oh, I've told them the situation was going on. This is this is getting out of hand. This is this is not looking good." And she's telling me things about. Can I be brutally honest with you? You've got no employment rights. I'm like, what? oh my god! They're like, oh, you can leave. Yeah, you yeah. They say, oh, if you don't like a placement, you can leave. Okay, cool. But if I leave, you tell me I need to have another placement, and I've got to complete a certain. Yeah, you have to. Do. If I yeah. don't, I can't come back next year, which is going to cause me a lot of problems. Yeah. That's what I'm going to say to you. So that, it's not quite simple yeah. just leaving and then finding something. No. Got to find something. Got to apply. I mean, so I'm not guaranteed to move into something else anyway. Because yeah. it's kind of like um like like heartache, and they like they didn't care. 
there was another, I've got another lady in that I started dealing with when I went to an, another football club, which I'm not going to go into now because it's long, isn't it? But yeah, yeah, of course. It was yeah. better at that football club, but there were still bad things. And it wasn't just me exclusively. Like, it's actually, to be honest, the problems were more for the other person. I had a bit of it as well. Like we all did, kind of did, even though we, because it's just, and they still football club, they still take, they still take, they still take the piss, isn't it? Like, but I spent, we, we explained the situation to her and she's more understanding and sympathetic. But the other one, when I had my first car, I were really the, the worst, yeah. I actually didn't give a toss, man. She's like, she pretended she was listening. Yeah. And then didn't. So I'm like, well, what are you here for? You're meant to be like the, you're meant to be someone that's looking after the students on the place. You don't, you don't really care. Yeah. You know I mean? so it's I'm, true, I'm, man. I'm, like, that's the thing. And like, as well, like, if you want, because you can easily just leave, but it's actually finding a, a replacement very quickly. And luckily, that's what I got out in the first week. And I, I was lucky, actually, in a sense, man, that I found something else, which was actually a very, very, um, very good and worthwhile experience, man. Um, but yeah, man, I, I, I understand that, man. The experience of, especially working within those environments and, and stuff. And, like that. and in my first, and in the first club, there's one incident where, where some one of them, one of them um, hit my laptop in it and then put it on some high shelf, which obviously fell down and everything. And then they're saying, oh, was, I've been told numerous times, oh, it's banter, it's football, it's banter, it's what happens in football, it's banter, isn't it, bro? I know I'm not an idiot. I know what banter is, yeah. And the way you're treating people, including myself, or Seema, yeah, that's not banter, bro. Well, you frozen, man. You still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah just keep going. Don't worry. Frozen, yeah. yeah. So it just froze up, yeah. Like, it's, um, that wasn't banter, man. Because you don't even, because the reason why I know that, because he revealed it at one point. I started confronting this guy on the issues, didn't it? I, started, I didn't care anymore. I, started, I, was, I wasn't taking this like BS no more, innit? And he snapped at one point. Yeah. He's like, we don't want you here, innit? He said that. He said yeah. that. He, oh, that was my mistake. I didn't mean it like that. It came out wrong. But yes, man. Yeah. Actually, yeah. So the, 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 the moment I got here, I had proven what you just said. So don't try and tell me that you think I was some kind of dumbo. You know what I'm trying to say? And it's like, well. Yeah. Uh, um, so yeah, I told them that. I told them that this guy's behaving. It's like, you know, the union are not taking accountability. They, 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 they're pretending that they're taking accountability for, man. They don't really care, man. That's the thing. I think to work in these kind of environments successfully, may I say, you have to have a very, I don't know, man. I think you have to not care about, like, the level of respect. I think you just have to be very compliant, man, if you want to do well. Because at the end of the day, if you can tolerate that call, but, like, certain individuals can't, man. They start even a good thing to tolerate anyway man you're just treated like a dirt like that's, dirt man like the thing. for a lot of the time yeah. i tolerate it and then at one point it was getting worse and worse just break and worse. yeah eventually I, like, I had enough of this man because that's the yeah. thing the more you're compliant the worse it got that's the thing like yeah, that's, the worse yeah. it got the more i was compliant with it and biting my tongue because i basically the uni had us by the balls basically man like the, yeah, yeah. the, the worse it got so i mean so the, that you know what i'm trying to say there's levels to it man at what point one day they tell you to get, to get get on your hands and knees and crawl across the ground. You're gonna go and do it. You know, do. I mean? uh, you know what I'm trying to say, man. It's like you got you got. You, yeah, they uh, think that giving you food, they're, <laughs> they're effectively treating you like you're kind of like you're like African children, man, starving. Do you know what I mean? Like here's your food. You should be lucky to get this. And like they kind of in that environment, man. It's just like yeah, they use that as a sense of like. Like you should, yeah, of course you should be grateful. It's not like, obviously you're not grateful for it, but it's kind of like, listen, look, I've got to live somehow. You know what I mean? I've got to live somehow. It can't just be, yeah, it's just off. Oh, I'm lucky to get the food and then that's no, it, man. No, but that's, that's, that's good to abuse you, you know. The thing is, though, the second club will give me food like everybody else. The first club, they weren't giving me food. They are giving everybody else. They haven't yeah. turned except for me. I was getting singled out. That's the thing. You, you, you got, you got get abused both, there, man. They'll, 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 they'll give me out specifically for yeah. no actual reason. That's the point. But there's been there's been loads of stories like this before in terms of like, well, this is actually more surrounding football clubs. I don't know what other sport clubs are like, but this this is like from our experiences. I think this is very this has been a trend or it's very hidden, if anything, man. I think across the board that I know, like people, um, this is this is very much similar things being said. Like maybe some people get it worse than others. That's that's understandable. But yeah, there's a lot of. I would say, man, I don't know. It depends on, like I say, your interest and what you want to do and what you want to get into. But, yeah, it's just, well, it's, it's what, not a very good environment. At what, 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 one point, I'm going to leave it here, innit? But at what point, because it's another yeah. point you can read, but at what point, what, at some point you say, look, if you don't like it, you know that you, 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 we can call it quits. You know, you know the door is, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. 
So you, you know what I mean? It's just absolute, it's absolute bastards, man. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And then, but in the fourth year, I heard a mad, I had other mad stories. Yeah, you did. Yeah. That's what I mean. With, yeah. with, 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 with our own course as well. So, because a lot of people wanted to get into like um, sports club, rugby, football club, and then they had similar kind of yeah. surrounding. Yeah. Or different, getting abused, getting shouted at. I mean, one person told me in the fourth year that during the interview, I think they were at one club, and it? it was in London, by the way, as well. They were like, oh, um, are you okay being sworn at? Jeez. Uh, what? I was like, that's weird. Why yeah. are you asking him that in interview? Yeah. Oh, you, you're finally sworn at, are you? You're fine, are you okay being sworn yeah. at? Like, what? Yeah. I, yeah. It's, just, it's, just, it's just mad. Yeah, it's like, yeah just, just fucking abuse me while you're at it. Call me a cunt every day. Yeah, why not? You know, you may as well. That comes as the job, you know. Fucking off. I said it's a fuck off, man. You know what I mean, man? It's, it's a lot of, yeah, a lot of problems surrounding that, man. And I think, yeah, man, listen, if... I highly advise people, yeah, if you, listen, if you want to go, if you are like, this is just in the context of obviously sport and sport clubs, yeah, if you support a team, like a football team, like Arsenal, for example, do not, if you have an interest in working for a football club, do not go to the team you support, because I'm kind of telling you, you'll be supporting a different club, bro. You know what's funny? It, you know what's funny? When I, the other club I moved to, there was a person that actually supported that team, by the end of it, mm. you don't support that team anymore. Yeah. Yeah, that's what will happen, man. You'll, you'll, you'll fucking you'll leave that team. You'll go and find someone else, man, to support. You'll probably end up not even going into that area, man. Um, not for me, man. I've, 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 yeah. I even even if even if there's so even, even if I was to be able to get a job there now because I got I got experience and there's clubs offered me and they paid me, I still wouldn't do it, man. Yeah. I don't like True, it. I don't like, I, don't, I don't like that kind of environment, man. It's not right, man. It's wrong. Uh, it's very bad, man. So, I think, yeah. Yeah, because again, it's not just all about the money. Like, and I think what you were saying earlier about that person saying um, it was about the advice they were given, like, oh, don't expect to be paid and stuff like that. And that's that's the thing. It's fine to do voluntary stuff, but it's kind of like, but what 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 does it take? Like, what what level does it take for you to you know to get to do voluntary stuff? Do I need to get to the point of it's well, like, I'm being well, abused or do I we were, we were, out, we were right? working, we were we were working like full time people basically. And doing unsociable hours more sometimes you yeah, can more than find people and you're just getting the yeah. every day of the week, man. Like you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So exactly uh, for no pay. So that, that make no sense. Imagine that like, you're working, so you go there to get abused for free. That don't make yeah. no sense, man. Because you've been, <laughs> been yeah. we could have been back in the you you make us wait another year to leave uni. If you've been in uni just doing other stuff, man. Piss off, man. So yeah. fourth year, we're in the fourth year now, and um yeah, man, we get our, our back is getting broken, man. Do you remember what you said to me? Bro, that's do you know, I literally you, have bro, this on the notes right here. You said to me, <laughs> oh, no. wait, oh, no, my. no, I know, I know it was that analysis unit, and you said to me, you want you to, yeah. you want you to break your back, I remember what? that, yeah, I remember it, I remember it, but that, listen, not just that, actually, it wasn't a lot of that unit, but that, that was a tough. <laughs> Final year in itself was it was pretty crazy in itself, anyway. But that unit, you know, oh my god, man! That honestly, like when you think of like your mental state and well being, man, it's gone through the roof, man. You just get to the point where you just you're not even thinking straight anymore, man. Like you're you're just functioning off like pretty much adrenaline. Did someone didn't, 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 obviously I know the person, but did someone had like yeah. um, a mental breakdown in it and it's for their mum or something? Yeah, like, a lot. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, a lot of people yeah. did, man. And that was I with, think that was for a lot of people. That was man. with the analysis assignment as well. And they, yeah. they, 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 still, they ain't got no sleep in like two days or something. They didn't, they didn't sleep in yeah. two days or something like that. Literally. It was a very, yeah. And that's the thing, man. Pete, listen, this unit was so, it was so complex. Well, for us anyway, some people might have found it a straightforward jacket, but like, um, it was so complex that people, like you were saying, you you were linking. You obviously they were in the same area as you, but you were linking people from different um, areas of that city. Mate, I had no to, to just to just try and get through this unit, man. Bro, if I if I, if I didn't have if I didn't have that, I probably would have failed it, man. <laughs> honestly, honestly, it's you know true. Me? It's true. Bro, that unit, man. This is what makes me like. This is why this course was stupid, man. Like there was a lot of good parts of uni. That was more than yeah. that was more than the other stuff. And we honest, we should, we, could, we reflect that on the end, didn't we? We go back into the, all the all the fun stuff which happened because it wasn't all bad. Yeah. It was a really lot of good no. stuff. But our course specifically, it was. it was a lot. It was a lot of rubbish, man. To be honest, the, uh, um, yeah, Christmas, Christmas was with the Christmas period in 20, 2019. So this is when this is when COVID is first talked about in December of nineteen. Well, no one. Yeah. It's not really. It's not. It's not really. It's not as disturbing for the world yet. Yeah, not even us. Yeah. Know, you know. 
we're focusing on these tough units. We had, remember, we had the marketing unit and everything, bro, and we had the analysis unit. And if I, if I didn't link that person outside of uni, I didn't drive to the cafe with how to do that, man. I don't, know, I, don't know, I had no idea. Not because I wasn't paying attention. It would be on my unit, my remit, man. It was like a, it's like a mass IT kind of course unit. It's like we didn't, we didn't, we didn't apply for this, man. It was forced upon yeah. us nowhere. Yeah. Like, there was no... There was no introduction to that unit in the first year. There was nothing to do with second year. And I don't know where fourth year, you, 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 have to, you just have to do that, man. And it was just it was ridiculous. Yeah. And they made it more tougher than the last time because there was an individual, there was no group. Before it was a group. That was like, all that stuff. Yeah. It's like, bro, this is ridiculous, man. This, we didn't come here for this, man. What is all this, man? Yeah. It was crazy. Do you remember as well, even that, that I think it was the week before submitting it, man, just busting it that whole week. Man. I think it was me and you mm. and someone else, man. Yeah. We were just busting that. That whole week of just it was actually we got up at like eight nine got in for uni for about nine nine half nine or whatever and we wouldn't leave there till literally like midnight then we would do repeat that pretty much for like six seven days man just just constantly that unit was a that was a that was a madness man that was an absolute madness um do you My, think listen like this is a good point oh sorry we're gonna say go on I was going to say, around during that period, at one point, man, like, it was the January, because Christmas period turned, didn't it? It was in the new year now, January 2020. Yeah. And we had all these assignments due in, man. And dissertation was on the rise, man, because it was getting peaked there as well. Started to get peaked. And, yeah. bro, my eye held, my eyes were in pain, man. Like, the back I remember eyes, you saying that, man. Hurting. I remember you saying. I literally were hurting, yeah. man. Like, it became, I, I thought at one point I might have to see a doctor, man, because actually my, I couldn't, I was getting pain behind my eyes, man. That's how peak it was, man. What are you going to say anyway, man? Yeah. Now, I said, this is like quite an important point I brought up. Like, now, this is not just to say for lecturers on our course or whatever, like this, and there's no names and stuff like that, but this can apply to other people's courses as well. Like, do you think lecturers hold themselves accountable enough for their standard of quality that they're delivering to to students, man? I think we we have certain opinions of this. You, uh, uh, listen, I think your experiences of this will go more in depth, man, because like, I've, I think, I think dissertation was the more madness for you, man. But like, like you've had experiences on certain units, man. Even myself, I've had it as well, where you know lecturers are delivering certain content, man. They just, I don't. There's no justification as to why they're doing it. They just, it's just like, yeah, you, you've got that, and no feedback or no actual justification as to why you got that grade. Um, and if you, and this is another, this is another thing of the system of a trick as well, that they, um, that they do. We actually went, yeah, you witnessed this, I think. Yeah, I think you did. So obviously, to make a complaint um they make the complaint process incredibly difficult so you get to the point where you're just like ah you know what i can't even be bothered anymore so you just kind of you give up man but do you anyway coming back to the question like do you honestly think that lecturers themselves are held accountable enough for their delivering standard of teaching or not what's your take on that no no, no. Man, man, you want me, you want me to, you want me to get onto everybody in this one show, man. <laughs> no, no, listen, no, 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 bro. No. <laughs> My dissertation of the floor, I think I did touch upon this in um, a show that I did earlier, I think last year, last year, innit, on my own, on my own show. And bro, with something like dissertation, this, this is the worst I've ever seen it, man, honestly, bro. All, I'm telling you, all the scams of uni was revealed in the last year of uni. That's what I'll say. <laughs> That's no, bad, seriously, yeah. the complaint oh, process, yeah. that system, that's... And by the way, that's the one going, but I ain't finished, bro. I'm still fighting that, you know, I'm not even joking to you. You actually? Yeah. Whoa. Hey, but guys, by the way, this has been over a year now, because actually, I remember just the post came up saying it's been a year since we submitted our dissertations, yeah. just like two days ago, so... The thing is, we didn't, we didn't, get, we didn't, we didn't, get, we didn't get our results till July, anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But, bro, they don't, they're not accountable, bro. They're not accountable, especially this... Mm. Um, some decision advisors, if you've got, bro, if you, I'm not gonna lie to you, right? If you've got, if you've got a bad one, man, it's actually peak for you, man. Honestly, you, man, mm. I had a very bad one. It's, you need a real, you need a good you one know, you to do. get on with no, as well. Thing is, the is thing important. is, though, yes, you've got to do the work 100%, but in this one, and this, and this, I've said this course for many people, right? You kind of need them more than ever with a dissertation because we, we, it's like we're going in mm. blinds. Like, we've never done anything like this. You, like you don't really know what a dissertation looks like. You know what I mean? It's like you start a yeah. uni all over again from the first year. You have no idea what an assignment looks like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. At least in the fourth year, you know what assignments, general assignments look like. But this is like a very specific, different, unique kind of assignment. 
you tend to know what they look like. You know what, you, what they're meant to be looking for. You know what I mean? You, you should know that by now. Kind of stuff. For this, something else. And I did this, I had this, I had this, this dickhead in it, man. I'm not an idiot, man. That, um, yeah. She, she, I know, I'm, but I can't help. See what I mean? You're getting me bare. I'm getting bare in my feelings on this, man. Your house level's going she, up now. Getting up aggravated. Oh, uh, man. Bro, you understand, bro. Like, she, she, he, remember, during the process, I was telling you, sorry, it's not right with this woman, man. Sorry, it's not right, man. Mm. Remember, you start seeing this spooky stuff. She was telling me I don't have to write, I don't have to reference the original source. So I've got peanuts yeah. in the skin you. Man, I don't need this. I mean, that's a that's a suckable offense, man. You're advised yeah. you're getting paid, this is the... you get paid extra money to yeah. do these one to one on juniors. That's a suckable offense. Like this opinion. is the thing, yeah. And the thing, the worst thing is, it happened all year. This is not the thing. It wasn't like a last minute ditch. Oh, it was no, like no, no, a no, one no, no, month no, prior no. thing. Yeah, that and was this is the thing. That yeah. was even the worst. So, yeah. thing. That was not even the worst thing with all of them. That's just one of. I didn't do. I didn't take that advice to do that. Obviously, I'm not an idiot, right? Yeah, yeah. I'd have got even a lower one than I actually did if I did that. Do you know what I mean? So you know she's woman same to Phil, right? The woman sounds un, always sounds unsure of what she or, or what she's saying that she needs or wants from me. She's always questioning herself. She stutters. Always sounds nervous every time. I had to go to other lectures to try and clarify a lot of points, man. Yeah. yeah. And the thing is, we were told from the get go, we're not te- we're not changing your advisors. Remember in that? Remember in the beach? That hut in the beach that we had to go to, we told now nah, we're not we're not moving around um advices for you, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. This is what you're getting unless you request a certain so yes, so basically you had the opportunity to request a certain advisor. I didn't request a certain advisor with good reason. I didn't know, I didn't want it's not you want an advisor that's right for what you're looking at. Because it's not just any advisor for sick of having a certain advisor, you know what I mean? So that's my rational yeah. behavior. Yeah. So you also give anything the benefit of the doubt. There's no point getting a request an advisor and what you're doing. They're not really, that's not really their best field. There's, there's no point. But somehow, some some genius decided to give me this person. Yeah. And I got her. And then I was thinking, I remember from second year, you know, I was thinking, bro, bare people said this, this person is not good, bro. And even I knew that people, she wasn't really good and everything. But I'm like, yeah, but yeah. I was like that. But I had to give five benefit of the doubt. I can be a bit more open minded to this idea of having this person. I tried it, man. I was not impressed from the start, man. I was not impressed with yeah. what you're saying. In the end, it showed. And then it's like all the stuff, all the stuff it was exposed. I've got the evidence to show where it's right. But the problem is, the problem is not the fact that you can get evidence on a certain person if you do your do your work. I did that. The problem is they're not accountable because the hierarchy or the people behind all this, yeah, they defend this person blindly, even if you've got evidence, man. Yeah. So they'll defend, they'll defend it. So yes, like you said, there's, there's an appeal system on paper, but in practice, there's no such thing, man. There's no appeal system. There's no complaint system. Yeah. On paper, there is a ticker box, yeah. but they're not accountable, man. That's why they can get away with whatever they want, really, man. You're kind of screwed, man. Once, you, once you're getting screwed, yeah. you're getting screwed, man. You're getting screwed, man. Yeah, man. No, it's, it's true, man. And uh, this actually happened in second year. Do you remember where you made a, com- it was like you wanted to complain about a certain person and people, people originally wanted to do it, mm. Then people backed out of it because oh, yeah, they yeah. actually got the grace they wanted. Do you remember? Like this wasn't just like just from final no, final no, year. It just it just happened no, the most, no, if no, anything. No, no, half of the people got grace they wanted. Half of them got screwed up badly. They were thinking yeah. about it, but they were like, "Oh, but it's a bit long and all kind of stuff." So obviously nothing happened. Yeah. yeah. But no, a lot of lectures don't get accountable for the action. There were some of the lectures that were very good, by the way. Yeah. Whether yeah, I got yeah, yeah, that's yeah, hundred percent. Some of the lecturer like there was there was there was one lecture in the second year. She was she was very good. I just didn't. I didn't get a good mark. This wasn't my strength. Do you know what I mean? It's, it happens, isn't it? Yeah. She's very good though. Some are some are very good. Some are awful. And and fourth year, bro. Oh my lord, man. Dissertation. I found a psychology. Even though I, even though I got a good grade in the psychology unit, she was still awful, man. Yeah. Awful. You think as well in final year, the most important year. What is it? 60, 70 percent of your grades as well. 60, 60. You'd think you'd have none of this business, man. Like at the end of the day, it's head down. You focus. That's pretty much final year, by the way, guys. It's literally just head down and focus. Yes, you can obviously still go out and still enjoy yourself, but it's very limited, man. In terms of, it depends what grade you're going for, I guess. Um, but yeah, man, this it was a lot of there was a lot of hiccups, man, during this final year, man. Especially, man, I think more with your experience, man. Um, most significantly, man. And I say with that dissertation stuff, man, like again, it, it even <laughs> Dave need to go into it because you've been over it so many times, man. 
but it was like it was all oh, year. I remember even he was saying some of the stuff he was even telling us and other people. We were like, hmm? "What are you talking mm. about, man? That that's not right, man. That's I, I think you need to check that and stuff like that, man." And yeah, just some of the advice you were getting. It was like a lot of incorrect advice, man. But there's no real right answer because everyone's dissertations and work is different. But there's still a level. There's certain principles which remain the same across all dissertations, man. And yeah, man, that takes a bit because you think about it. You, your grade, you did well a lot on certain units. Your grade could have been bumped up certain um, higher in a certain way. Could have been. It was. It, do you know God. what, man? First class. I didn't. I didn't get a great mark as in the man. Unfortunately, man. Yeah. Um. And I think about it all the time. It was. It, they were. They were awful, man. They were shit. I'm being honest. Yeah. Like, yeah. I didn't get. If I didn't get all these good marks in the other stuff, yeah, I'd have been screwed overall. I don't know. Got. I don't know. I don't know. Got. Um. The mark I did overall, to on this man. So that kind of stopped me from getting screwed. Do you know what? It's. it's, it's Basically, no detriment policy, man, because I've been screwed, man. Oh, that man, I have a story, but that, that policy, oh my days, man. That policy, man, when listen, when that first came out and stuff, I was, I was bare happy, man. I was like, yeah, they're good, people get higher than whatever, and all that sort of stuff. So, my friend sends me this, like, sort of how it's calculated. I was just quite intrigued. I was like, okay, I'll just, whatever happens, happens, but I'll, I'll you know, just do the calculation, see what happens. So, when I did it and, and stuff, I was like, okay, cool, hopefully, if I this mark and this mark, hopefully I'll be on course for, for, for first class honours, man. I was like, trying to, I was be like, cool, fingers crossed and just see what happens, man. And then I got my grade. Bear in mind, I didn't get a bad grade anyway. It was at, uh, what's it, up second upper, separate, second upper class, isn't it? That's the name, separate, two one basically. And um, yeah, man, I, was, I wasn't even pissed off. I was just like, what the, you know, when you just like, you get told something, you think it's going to go that way sort of thing. And then you realise, what you know, that, that in the end, it's, it's like you said, it's like when you expect a good grade, then I'm well, not even expect a good grade, but you put in a lot of work. You expect a good outcome because mm. you think you put the hard work in. You expect hard work equals um, success or good outcome, and then you get something com- totally, completely different, man. It kind of just like sets you off in a different way, man. Like in terms of, in terms of you know your your emotion, well your emotions, your mood, your you know your approach towards it, definitely. But yeah, I had that, man. That no detriment policy was that was some bullshit, man, to be honest. I just thought, what was the fucking point? You might as well have just not included that now. But, like, interesting point, actually. Like, do you think, like, there's a significant difference, like, obviously finishing university now? Not that, you know, do you think there's a difference between getting a first and a second, like, a 2-1? Like, do you think there's actually a significant value between the two, you know? It's hard to say, like, obviously. It's hard, but... it's hard to say. Depends. Depends on certain unis you go to. I mean, what, what, from what? Mm. It's lightning, isn't it? Got flash. From what I'm, from what I'm hearing, depends on the, some unis are hot. Some unis that they they don't give out first, man. Like unless you're, it's thunder. You hear that? Yeah, it's thunder. I hear that? The thunder where you are as well. It's it's cloudy. Yeah, it's cloudy. It's thunder, yeah, man. Yeah. So where it depends on. It's harder to because not all unis act, um, um, move the same, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think I don't know. Do you feel like though first like first class honors is kind of obviously it's it's hard to get and obviously you should credit yourself if you've got one. But like, do you think there's even a value in it anymore, man? I feel like they just dish out first and two ones for nothing, man. Like in a sense, but I feel like compared to a couple like years ago when you know going to university was actually a value in itself and stuff. Like by the money side of it and stuff, like you know getting those kind of grades was like very 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 valuable. Now it kind of is just like a a trend, you know what I mean? Oh, bro, two one first, that's bro, it. And you know what? If I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm taking that. Do you know why? Because when I put certain, mm. when you put certain work in, and you're getting screwed by these these unfallible lecturers sometimes. Yeah. yeah, it evens itself out, man. Sometimes, man. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you, like you gotta like, do you know what I mean? Don't ask. You're getting robbed anyway, man. Don't let them rob you more, man. So you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Right. I wonder if it's a common case across other unis, man. I'm sure you get it at certain unis and stuff like that. Maybe not obviously the top percentage in the UK or even global or whatever. But I think, yeah, if you're outside of that, obviously, then there could be similar experiences. But I'm sure there's hun- hundreds and hundreds of people have had very similar experiences. Well, man. Well, well, what I would say is so apparently getting like a first at um, Oxford, Brooks, is not the same kind of quality as somewhere else. That's what I would say. From what, from what I've heard from what I've heard from other people. Yeah, it's quite interesting then, because then it's just like that. 
it's like come down to value, don't it? Like, what is that? What is their natural value then? Because the thing is, like, what's the difference between a two-one from Oxford Brooks to a two-one to to I don't know? It could be Roehampton University. Like, what is the actual difference? Same grade, just what different course? Well, obviously the course is different, but you do a similar course. The grade is the same, so I don't know how it can be different. You know. Some people say that some some unis are a bit more harsher with their markings, a bit a bit more. Um tough to get certain marks do you know what I mean because I expect more during a certain it comes down to it comes down to prestige at the end of the day man like true you know what I mean the presti- yeah prestigious university ranking absolutely listen let's move on to the next like that's been a kind of solid run through of like pretty mm-hmm. much first year to to final year man and the thing is like this conversation could go on for hours man like that's just like a real in a sense in a nutshell really of the experiences and things to look out for so i want to move on to like the advantages and disadvantages man of like i know we talk about this university scam you think are absolutely negative but this to by the way just to make it clear there's actually a lot of good things that can come from university as well so it isn't just saying like oh well, university is well, a complete well, scam when but, i say to you when my answer to the question is university is scam it's, it's, it can depend it depends on it depends on what you're looking for yeah. you know what i mean it's, it's a subjective opinion yeah. There's some things. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying. To, I'm not trying to sit on the fence. But I genuinely believe, if you, if there's a lot of things I'll say no, and a lot of things I'll say yeah. 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 It's, not, it's not me. Trying, it's, not, it's not me trying to play. Give it a safe answer. Just be like, oh, I'm not gonna say yeah or no. It's like. Yeah. It, it really depends, isn't it? it, it um, yeah. It depends. Everyone's gonna have different experiences and get. You yeah. know, everyone has a certain yeah certain experience of of that. Well, the what thing do you think is, the advantages are of uni though? I hit on some advantages. Well, advantages that you think are advantages may not be advantages anymore. Uni, for example, give me some rate that say. But, but what about you? Like you actually going to uni, like some stuff that you could say, yeah, you know what, I've actually picked that up, and that's a lifelong skill or quality that I've learned and from university. I'll say, you know, I'll say, I'll, I'll say, personal development is a very big, a very big advantage mm. to university. Networking with different people from different walks of life. Um, yeah, I've said a lot of your learning experiences you are not actually in the classroom now for the classroom, if I'm being honest. How you navigate, do you know what I mean? How you, 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 you you're corporate in all kinds of different cultures or different people across the country that you never met before. You're getting people from flipping uh Middlesbrough, you know what I mean, Hull and like Blackpool, and then you've got people from like the southern part of England, so like you're so, like that Yorkshire area, huh? You're going down that Midlands area, you like those Midlands areas, don't you? Oh. Well, I, get, well, I like a bit of everything, man. But you're you're doing you're meeting all these different people, and then you're trying to like trying to find yourself as such, man. Coming independent, so you like for example, advantages like you don't have to learn to cook. It's a rack, isn't it? You don't have to learn to cook more, cook more stuff. Um, do your own washing, man. These these are these are under these are underlooked. Um, Underlooked skill sets, man. Like it's got to manage you to make manage. Your, you can't really manage time because time is always the same for everybody else. Do you know what I mean? But do the best you can. Do do a lot of the time. You it's quite. Manage. It's time management is very very difficult. I mean, it's not it's not impossible. It's just very difficult under the circumstances of if you're like say you're going at 18, 19, man. You you know you fuck around first year pretty much. You know what I mean? You you have distractions left, right, and centre, man. And it's like you kind of lose sight of a bit of your own personal development and what you're actually there for in terms of your... I think that's something you have to learn from, though, to be honest. I think it's just something that people have to go through. It depends on your approach towards university as well. I'll say, um, say, if I didn't go uni, I wouldn't be... I don't think I'll be as... Weird, I'm going to say. I don't, I don't think I'll be as developed as I am... Yeah, it, no, it does. To do. I mean, I've got a lot, way, lot long way to go. It, I don't think... Going that's to the, university, like, yeah, like... Yeah, and that's the thing. Like, okay, yeah, it is a lot of money. I absolutely understand that it is, and it, you, that's a consideration you have to take. But let's just say, bar the money and stuff, like, um, and obviously, you you know, what you're looking for. There's a lot of good, yeah, like personal development that does come from going to university, like you said, independence and stuff like that. Um, I think like leadership skills. You, you do a lot of group work as well, group assignments. You learn how to interact and understand dynamics a bit better with people which you can apply into your friendships, your jobs, mm. different areas of life, you know. Um, and like I said, friendships are a very key one as well, man. It's like, net, obviously, yeah, like, 
when I mean networking, I don't just mean oh networking for business and stuff like that, but you you meet a variety of people, man, who have different interests and as you said, cultures and stuff like that. And it's always interesting to meet them and understand where they're coming from and you know, just right. develop good it's relationships. Like, it's, at the end of the day, discovering yourself, man. You start to I start to discover what drinks I like and which, which drinks I don't like. Not that I'm a big drinker anyway, but when I have yeah, yeah, yeah. Setting, some of the I remember drink, that man. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like there were some fun times, yeah. man, at uni, man, like summer ball, especially the first year summer ball. Yeah. Like, oh, that was sick, man. man. But, summer ball yeah. is it's a good time, man. Just you dress up, you go to a festival and it goes from pretty much from the morning up to like one or two o'clock in the morning, man. That was a good time, man. And just, think, it was a good like life experience. Some know, things I regret. Fun. Some things I do wish I did differently at the time I said I was gonna do them. I wish I joined. I do wish I joined, I joined more societies, you know what I mean? I like, got involved in more, even in more clubs. Yeah. Kind of because when you, when you go, when you go you to did the... a, You did a couple, didn't you, final year? Like, you, you didn't join them pop. like, you didn't stick to it. It wasn't properly, but you joined some in the I end, didn't you? You couldn't really stick to it properly anyway. Well, you know, the thing is, you try and error, but the thing is, though, you, you got less opportunity to do these things in, like, the later years, aren't you? You know what I mean? You're getting very busy with, like, yeah. assignments and work and they count towards anything, man. Like, you don't... Bro, I don't want to lie to you. In the fourth year, I couldn't breathe, man. Yeah. For, no, fourth year, man. Like, this example as well with fourth year. Like, obviously, me and you, we go to the gym now. We finished uni. We're going to the gym pretty regularly, like, four plus times a week, yeah. man. And, like, yeah, ugh, showing those gains to your users. Um, And, like, for example, man, all my days, like, it took a year out pretty much, man, of just lack of exercise, I'd say, generally anyway. But, yeah, man, it was a very very busy year it just felt like the dis it's kind of like the academic work is your work like it's mm. your job and then you come home got cook and then sort yourself out and stuff like that and you kind of the one you know the, if, the, the yeah. one there's a, there's, a, there's a con of uni i don't want to lie to you it's not because it's not because it's, it's not necessarily because of uni it depends yeah. on you, you, it's one of the ones you can find yourself involved in if you don't if you don't if you don't exercise during uni and you're drinking and eating all these junk food bro you can have yeah bro. very bad physical health man Bro, you'll have physical health. You'll become a fat bastard. You know what I mean, man. You're, you're, you know, you're, uh, yeah, man. I've seen it. I've seen it with fourth people, man. Year, like, you know. Fourth year, yeah. I was in probably like the worst shape I've ever been in, man. I think yeah. I, know, I agree. I didn't even look it that much anyway, but I was like a feeling. Yeah. I was eating kebabs. You feel weak, yeah. Eating kebabs. If you do uni, I was eating yeah. pizzas. I was eating all kinds of stuff. <laughs> bro, that was actually a madness. That week bro, where we were busting. You know, yeah. What's funny about that though? Yeah. Actually, I was actually cooking a lot more anyway, but I was still I was I was cooking a lot more. I cooked more than I ever did. But I ate a lot of I started eating a lot of um especially during the stressful periods, but I would just be like eating bad kind of stuff. Yeah. Sleep. Yeah, I yeah, doing, like, it's a lot, yeah. I was enjoying the I, I don't know, man. Yeah, man. I was just stressed out, man. Yeah, it does. Like following is a it's a lot of stress, man. And like yeah, if you don't exercise, if you don't weight train, if you don't do just cardiovascular exercise, for example, like you feel the effects, man. You just feel, yeah, sluggish, tired, weak, you know, just a lot of negative effects, man. It's not even good for your mental brain, uh, for your brain and for your mental health as well, man. You just have to like it's difficult in terms of time management, man. But um yeah, I think that's a I think that's you do have to have certain like fitness, you know, um regimes or goals towards like living your life in terms of university and stuff like that like having that alongside because you will get unhealthy and now a bit about afterwards so we'll see we we'll are going to it a bit another time in it but what i'll say is like yeah, yeah jobs afterwards yeah i don't want to lie to you they're not really looking at your, your degrees anymore man so it's like yeah, that's but that's that comes yeah that's quite interesting because that comes back down to that earlier point of like is it is it valuable now like it's getting the first or two one or even your degree is it actually valuable man and like that's the thing at the end of the day everyone universities uh what's it called capped now is it yeah capped isn't it where they allow unlimited people pretty much to go to university pretty much so especially without universities so most i'd say a large proportion of the population i don't know what the statistics are but are attending university everyone's getting degrees so what's the how is your degree valuable to someone else's degree you know Bruv, what, what I would say though, the one thing I do not agree with, innit? And it's this when if you felt if you felt we take you get capped at forty percent, I think that's some stupidness, man. Oh I, yeah, yeah. How comes yeah. It, the thing is though, how comes at GCSE level and A level you can retake and get a grade if you fell and retake while at uni, mm. we actually pay money this time 
it, you, you get cats at forty percent no matter what because you fold the unit the first time, man. That's been, that's been, that's been, I think that's a robbery, man. Yeah, yeah. That's my I know, opinion. Just, yeah, I, I, that's the thing. I think each unit. That's the thing. Each university is different, so no, I don't know actually. It, it could, apparently, all unis do that when it comes to actually. Yeah, no, it must be because. But that's the thing. It's like if you fail. I think the point of it is because if you, for, for example, if you say you didn't put any effort and you got like 38% you have to retake, mm. you're actually sweet, this is my chance now, I've got all summer to bust out this assignment and get a first like, well, I, that, think, I think that's the, the reason is, why the they put is, that the, in. The thing is though, it could be one of the ones where you did put effort in, it's one of the ones where it went wrong, I mean you didn't understand something properly maybe it was just very hard for you, it doesn't, doesn't, it doesn't always mean you didn't put effort in, I know, you, I know, I know you're not saying that, but it's, it's, it's not yeah, yeah. and also, what Anyway, what's the difference between GCSEs and A levels as well? Do if you do fail and you have to retake, man, they're not capping you. So why is it different here? And you pay this time as well. Mm. Imagine, you get, imagine you're paying. You get, you get, yeah, it's different. Yeah, and I think. Well, I was gonna say, um, what other things do you think you would have done differently? Like, just if you had, if you could, like, kind of rewind the time, and you had this knowledge now, and you had this information now, and you went, you know what? If I could go back and do it again from the start. Brother, I'm on a size human. I'd have found, I'd have flipping found, yeah, Beyonce or Scarlett Johansson. Man. But some of the girls that I, in the first year, I thought that was right. Like, what am I doing, man? I should have, bro, it's a crime to go to uni and not leave uni with a painting going back home, man. That's a crime, man. That's a crime. Well, you've got a master's coming soon if you want to do yeah. that. So you've got your child. I've done that, man. I should have, I should have assessed. I made some mistakes, man. I'm not proud of, man. Do you know what I mean? I think, I think we. I think everyone. Bro, knows, don't yeah, lie. Everyone. You did the same thing as well, man. Uh, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> trying to hold me accountable. <laughs> <laughs> nah, they, they were, they were, they were. That, bro. There's a lot of mistakes that people would check. Like, I, personally, I would change. And you said yourself, man, you would do differently, man. Obviously, yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent, man. Like. I think it's funny because it's like if you don't have the experience, you you wouldn't know. So yeah. it's kind of you have to go through it, but then you kind of wish, well, actually, if I did that differently, I wouldn't have to go through that experience. But oh, so you know what? There's yeah, only so... people that get it right first time. Though. Some people are lucky, Matt. Like I don't want to say even lucky. So it's it's the knowledge you can have as well, like the awareness of it. Like if someone said to me, sat sat me down, like and at, like a month before, and said, Stephen, listen, this is how uni can be. Not even like just going through how it can be, but just like how it should, how you should enjoy oh, uni and the oh, things you should be aware of. Like, man, that 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 can be the big difference between you actually having a very positive experience between having a de- negative experience, man. And like, you're going to still have negatives anyway, but it's more just like things that you can be aware of and how your mindset, you can approach things and stuff. Well, in terms like of that, you know, um, because people don't figure this out until it could even be till final year, man. In terms of advice, yeah, for university, right? I'll say advice to anyone that's going. I'll say like, do not go if you if you feel your parents want you to go. I mean, my parents, yeah, never, yeah. my parents never said that you're going to uni. They always said it's my choice. If I want to, if I want to, they support that. If I didn't, they support that. So yeah. some people, I know some people. I've heard of some people's experiences that it wasn't even their choice. It was their parents' choice, and that's, I don't think that's right, man. Yeah, you do get that. I think that's more for certain, well, especially for courses like you're getting doctors and lawyers and stuff like that. Mm. I think, yeah, but even in general, anyway, you're right, man. I think like you shouldn't just do a course because your pa- parents cho- tell you to do or you should do it because literally, I think nine times out of 10, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it and you're just going to basically go through years of whether it's three, four years or plus of hating it, man. I think you really need to do you're something about the lines of thing is, though, Especially in this day and age, where back, back in the day, you need to be you need to be free. You're wasting your money for going. If you're doing a course you don't really don't want because you feel like you have to because the parents are putting this pressure, it's a waste of your money, waste of time. Yeah. You will, and the yeah. fact, if you want to go to uni, not uni is not for everybody, isn't it? So what I'll say to you, I'll say, I'll say to people, really assess your options. Really try. The thing is that you don't necessarily need to, 100% know what you want to do in the future, man. That's the wrong thing. I think people are getting it wrong. Back in the day, it, it allows you a bit more time to find where you wanted to go. But these days, it's like, oh, you have to know what you want to go in straight away. 18 years old, what are you going to? Are you being a doctor? Are you being this? Are you being that? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It's very, it's like a very narrow-minded approach, yeah. man. I think you have to broaden your experiences yeah. everywhere, man. Not just in one field, man. I think you have to <laughs> utilise all opportunities, man. Take the advantage of what you have and just kind of 
utilize that rather than being like, oh, I'm, I'm this. Because yeah. if I if I went, the thing is though, I thought I was becoming a performance analysis. Yeah, if I didn't make it as a pro pro baller, innit? That didn't happen. But yeah, going to that placement year, when I'm thinking, I'm thinking, bro, I don't want to do this. Not because I can't do the job. I can do the job. That's not the issue. But it's like I don't want to be doing this every day. I don't like the kind of politics I see involved. I don't like the kind of environment that you have. I don't like it. And I don't like how they move. How you can get how you can get treated. I don't. You see, if you get if you get paid. Someone will get treated better than others. It doesn't matter. Like, it's, not, it's not a guarantee. I just don't agree with this whole thing, innit? So that's a positive. That's a good thing. Though. That's, that is a good thing of placement year. You find out you don't really want to do that. Problem is, I've got yeah, yeah. I realized after like two months, I didn't really want to do this anymore. I've got to have a whole year of that. Bro. I've, I've got past that stage. I'm just there just to make yeah. a number of doing 30 weeks for a year so I can come back next year, man. Yeah. But yeah, man. So uh, it does, man. I think it kind of, yeah, a lot of experiences you realize that certain things you want to do, some things you don't want to do, you know. No, oh, no, it's got a podcast. I just talk rubbish, man. That's what <laughs> talk shit for free. Nah, I'm joking. That's um, it's good, man. I think that's the thing. Like, the thing is, when you do a certain course or whatever, people might experience this as well. Like, oh, so you want to go into this? Oh, so you have interest in this? Oh, so you... and it's like your identity doesn't necessarily lie just within that thing, it might just be. You're just doing it because at the time at 19 or 18, you're interested in it. But that was, that's going to change, man. When you get to 23 or 22 or 21 or whatever, how old you are until you finish, that changes. But things change, man. You, you actually sometimes you end up, especially in my experience or maybe even yours as well, you kind of get to the end and you feel like, yeah, actually, I don't want to go into this area. I just want to broaden my experiences somewhere else and try different things. Like you said, you're doing a podcast um, and certain jobs that you said you looked at as well that you're telling me about, like just different areas, you know what I mean? Rather than going, oh, I have to... Oh, I've done this course. Now I have to go into sport. You know. Oh man, don't don't go into sport, man. That's, 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 that is <laughs> to capital, be honest, man. That's capital fraud. That's yeah. capital fraud. Like my advice is, unless if you're doing a sports course, yeah, or you have an in, if you have an interest, genuine interest in it, and you actually want to go into that field, fair enough. Like that's cool. But genuinely, like if you don't care about it, I'd advise just to stay away from it, man, and just just go into another field or just just look at your options elsewhere, man, and just adapt to something else or learn something else you know i, I don't recommend it personally but that's just from my experience well, I would, your experience. What and obviously I, I know you i know you did i know you didn't go straight after six formal college and i know i came straight from college so i, I, college, came, I, I came out as an 18 year old and i left as a 22 year old you know what i mean but yeah but what i would say is um some people some people i think they rush to go straight away they don't take yeah. a year out assess properly. Sometimes they some some sometimes will go straight away and that's completely fine. But some people, I think it's it's think about how many people in the population they just dived in straight away. Got yeah, I got my grades. I'm going this year, September. I'm moving out. I'm moving. Away, I'm moving away from mum and dad. Piss off. I'm gonna do whatever I want, whenever I want. So you now I'm trying to say I live a completely different lifestyle. And then you go. I can't wait. Just sometimes just take a step back and then really assess. Do you know what I mean? Your options and. You have a unis, where the, you know what I mean? So you, rather than having a few months to assess it, sometimes you've got a whole year, man. Because you've got the grades anyway. Yeah. You can go in anyway. You can kind of be like, do I really want to do this? Or do I want to do that? Really? Yeah. Go look, 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 at, look at some online forums. The thing is, you can't base it on what everyone... You can't just... The thing about it, I think people get too hard... You, you can overdo research, you know what I mean? You can't... You can't you're not going to get the perfect answer. Do you know what I mean? Mm. You're not going to get the perfect answer in advance. And I think a lot of people sometimes yeah, get... Sure. In that, do you know what I mean? Some people say, yeah, yeah, dude, that's me saying, oh, no, you can't, you don't want to get the perfect answer. So yeah. it's one of those ones where you do as much as you can, research as you can, weigh up your, weigh up, weigh up your strengths, weaknesses, what is you want to do? Does these pros outweigh the cons? Does this course, compared to this, the other course, because you apply to more than one course, obviously, you, you do your personal statement, you do, you know what I mean, you're doing that more than one application. Mm. Uh, considering... And reconsidering it, man. Can you crack? Some people can't cook going away from home. Do you know what I mean? Because I've heard some people, I heard stuff, I think it was one person after Freshers Week, they, they, their parents won't come and collect them and brought them back home. Do you know what I mean? So, do you know what I mean? So, if they stay at home, they'd have been better off. Or yeah. some people are too focused on, do you know, I don't have the best experience because I personally think, this is my opinion, and it's not this ain't the right answer, but in my, in my opinion, it's the right answer, isn't it? I think it's best for you to leave house, man, and go. Yeah, I, mate, I absolutely agree. That's my opinion, yeah. though. For some people, it's better yeah. that you don't, in it? But I just feel like some people, yeah. they, they think, they, they, listen, I know it's a lot of money, but I feel they focus too much on the financial side. Yeah, I, I do think it's damn ridiculous, in it, man? Yeah. 
and the government yeah. to answer for yeah. that. They lie to people, they triple the fees and everything. There's no justification for it, really. Yeah, we're not, we get a lot of time out of lecture rooms anyway, thinking what we really damn paying for, to be honest, man. But um, they, they, they get focused on no, but you're saving all these money on like accommodation fees to so just stay at home. And they probably think they're fully funded. They've got to do a lot of better experience if they actually went up, went out and left their hometown, went somewhere else, got to live an independent life, and then you know what I mean. Because uh, you got to live up to the fullest, isn't it? So that's that's one of my advice to some people. And then some people, there's someone I went, I know, right? He went to uni. He was in London. He stayed at home. When he reflected back, what he was thinking, do you know what? Maybe I should have left home and went 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 out, and then do you know what I mean? Studied somewhere else that wasn't close to home. Do you know what I mean? Really got the proper experience. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of bit yeah. too, you know what I mean? In hindsight. I agree, man. Like, first point, like, as you said, take a gap year, guys. Like, take a gap year and take your time to figure out. You can have a lot of opportunities on your year out to do, like, traveling mm. um, and even just get what general work experience, man. You can even make some money. Whatever you want to do, man, it's a very good opportunity yeah. to focus on Hold on, no gap year for yeah. some not everyone some people go straight away yeah i don't i don't regret, i don't regret not taking a year out i i was ready i was ready i was to go straight away that's i think yeah i think because yeah because you did it i i took a year out and i think there's going to be different experiences it depends it depends really if you want to jump in the but jump in the deep end or it's not even necessarily about that it's just more just you can you have time to assess your options because it's quite rushed man think about it. you do your your college or a levels or whatever then you've literally got a month and then bang you're straight in it depends though it really just depends there's no yeah. right or wrong answer like you said it's you just, just you just got that summer after your level three b tech yeah, yeah. you literally have like two or three months you're, 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 you're somewhere else. that's what i mean it's very pretty straight in and then your second point was um what was your second point about again it was about oh yeah living away from home yeah, yeah. i i i agree with that 100 percent. i think it's like in a sense cutting the umbilical cord man and like you kind of to learn to separate yourself and become independent on your own um, and live life a bit on your own terms and stuff. And it's, it's a good experience, man. It's a good experience for everyone. Yeah, it's not going to work out in the end for everyone, but I think it's good to try it and kind of realise whether that that kind of being on your own and being around new people and stuff works for you. And then if it does, cool. It's a good thing to do, man. It grows your independence. You learn to look after yourself, yeah. um, you know, and it's... It's, it just makes the experience better, you know, and it gives you more options rather than just being stuck at home in the comforts. But obviously, it's again, it depends on the circumstances and scenarios of of that because some people, you know, have certain situations where you look after people. Yeah, so it just depends. But yeah, that, I agree with that, man. I think if you have the chance, the opportunity, don't worry. Like, yes, obviously assess your finances if that's a problem. If it's not, then I think you should take the, just utilise the opportunity to, to just go out and live in a, in a student accommodation or halls for first year. Um, yeah, and look into what you're doing, man, as well. Like, But anyway, you're going to make choices, good and bad choices, so you can't get everything right, man. One thing, do you uh, know what? Where I'll say, if anything, see about the gap year thing you talked about. If anything, not that I've done a master's yet, it's on the agenda. I don't know yet, 100% sure if I'm doing it yet or not. Yeah? It's, it's not It's not ruled out. If After you do an undergraduate degree, this is where a lot of people get it wrong. They dive in straight to a master's. Literally, yeah, yeah. Bro, you've done three years of hard work, four years in our, in our, in what well, in our in our um, context in occasion, man. Fam, I am knackered, man. I do not miss the deal of uni, bro. Yeah. I, bro I'm not like that. Love, bro, I still yeah. got PTSD, man, from last year, man. I still recovering. Man. Yeah, Ron, you're still you know the trenches, man. You know I, mean? I think, I think, no, I agree, Joe. I think you got to have your time out, man. Like, listen, you've done three, well, four years actually, because you do a placement year, which is still work in itself, anyway. You got to deal with that nonsense. I like, a bitch like for free, man. Yeah, yeah exactly. You're, you're free bitch for a year, basically. Um, nah, like you've got to take your, you've got to uh, take your time out, man, and just, just have time to just like readjust, man. Think about a lot about yourself. You should do that anyway, but thinking about more about what you want for yourself, and then just kind of, in a sense, make decisions based off that. Some people listen, like for example, obviously with me, I'm not saying it's about money, of course, but like having an income is nice. It's nice to have an income, man, and just be able to pay for so to do certain things, like you know, go traveling if when this COVID stuff ends, or or like uh, you know, go to places and just have options. You know, I think that's the main thing. Um, but yeah, with a master's, man, because again, talking about the intensity and work of it, it's a lot of work depending on what course you do. So I think it's like, Bro, good to take you know the time what? out and Bro, if the thing is, assess dude, your options. In our case, yeah. 
because with most people's undergraduate courses, isn't it? Like if you do free and do a master's, even then I still think sometimes, you know, sometimes if you know you definitely want to do it and you're in the right mindset and you're ready, then fair enough, go, obviously, yeah? Do, you're going to do your degree, do your master's degree straight away after your undergraduate degree. A lot of our people cases, they think that they're going in, you don't, you want to take some time off, but you just didn't realise and you dive in too, too, too soon straight away, you didn't assess things properly. Do you know what I mean? Do you want to do something yeah. different? Do you want to do the same kind of area of course? Do you want to do something completely different? Take some time so that you, I don't, I think you need more than a few, like one or two months. And because- Oh, 100%, 100%. People, people, people applying for masters before they even, during like the final year where they got all this pressure, I'm thinking, geez, that's the last yeah. thing I'm lying for. I was thinking, yeah, that's that's not like the right, that's well, that's I would say, yeah, in our heads, so in my head, especially not the right I'm approach. All, I am, I'm all for planning ahead, man, as much as possible, because you need to be a bit, yeah. you don't, don't just, just can't just the, 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 the later you leave things, the, 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 the run into a bit more problems and, and trouble. But you know what I mean. But I think for that, assess it a bit more. Because if we did, if we if we did a master, and some people did that straight away, that's five years, man. Straight studying, it's five years, man. Yeah. Half a decade, man. If you think yeah. about it, man. Like flipping it, man. Jesus, like we 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 already do it one year behind because we did a placement year. So the year below. Are now level with us anyway. The graduate sometimes like us. We still need another graduation. You know, imagine that. But like, yeah, I know, yeah. That's just another. But like, yeah, bro. So all those. Yeah. Things, man. yeah, I think yeah, I think that's absolutely right, man. Just especially if it's just like life's point building on just masters as well. Like that masters, if it helps you get to a position that you want to be yeah cool by all means that's fine but if you're kind of like just doing it for the sake of uh i you know if you're doing it for the wrong reasons like oh i just missed the uni life i need to go and do a master's yeah. or if i'm doing it uh, yeah but people do, do just don't do it for the right reasons man like but if it's going to help you get into an area that you want to get into absolutely by all means yeah that's fine but yeah don't do it for the wrong reasons man like the thing is options. though the thing is though if you if you don't want to if you want the uni lifestyle back Leave for a year or two years, three years. Come back, do the uni life. You, 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 you're you're quali yeah. qualified for the uni lifestyle anyway to go back if you want. At any point, obviously, think, at some point. The reality, at some point you go, yeah. but, but don't. I right, don't. Go on. Yeah. Now I should say the reality is the. Oh, listen, look with the uni lifestyle. Yeah, the best year and the most like fun year you'll ever have is the first year. Mm -hmm. After that. Like you'll never, you can never really recreate it. Like it's never, even if you do as much in the second year or the final year, or even going to a masters, you're never going to recreate that. It's kind of okay. just like your your ideal, you know. Your, you want your, to do your, it. But... Your stimulus is at its highest when you, you have no yeah. idea what to expect. It's brand yeah. new, everything's fresh. Exactly, um, everything's different. Never, yeah. you can't recreate the experience, even if it was a good time. Yeah. Like for me, because we went summer ball first year, second year, fourth year was sport for us. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Summer ball, right? Summer ball, first year, brilliant. Yeah. Second year was good. I think first year was a little better. And we, the COVID, was, COVID threw fourth year out the window. Right? Out, yeah. But, and even this year as well. So next one's in 2022. About two years, there's been no summer ball, right? But, yeah. The first year, we, we know what to, what to expect. But even though we like the second one, the first year, you, know, like, you can't recreate the, you can't recreate it, man. Everything's fresh, nah, brand true. new. Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, you can't recreate it. It's it, it's kind of a year you just live without even really thinking about it too much, man. You just enjoy it as it goes along, man. And then after that, it just changes. You expect to live by that standard all the time, but you never do because it's different, you know. So you have to create your own, you know. And just, I think, yeah, you have to enjoy. That's the main year of enjoyment, man. So after that, still good, still enjoy it, but it's not going to reach that like peak level, you know, kind of dips down i'd say a little bit in terms that in terms of the enjoyable social side of that but you have opportunities which you can still enjoy it obviously so Bro, i'm gonna say this I don't, I don't even know if i don't know if i'm gonna get in trouble for this man but it's how you know that this experience is, is a madness in the first year bro for those i don't know like it's obviously i turned 18 in april 2016 like i joined um born with uni in september 16th i didn't go clubbing in between my birthday and that's so my first clubbing experience was at university bro Freshers week, yeah. Go in there, make my debut in like it was lollipop or fire station. They actually got to the, you know, remember? Do you remember? Do you remember the um, the top floor? Yeah. Yeah. We'll go to the top oh floor. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I literally go near the bar section, top floor. Look to my right, and this is blonde girl with big tits. Yeah, going like that. <laughs> I was sucking <laughs> up to that man. I was like, raw, raw man. This is this is this is sick, man. Oh, no, I mean, I'm like, whoa, like literally, I was just like, 
for that week, I made sure that was every day. Like <laughs> You're getting happy. Bro, I just got, I'm just getting fully nostalgic talking about it, man. What's what, what, what the stimulus is at its highest? Because it's just so, everything's so random and so spontaneous. Yeah. It's just happening at the same time, bro. It's, it's all of it. It's all of it combined in one, man. It's just like everything is so crazy and everyone's in the same boat as well, man. No one's like, every, yeah, obviously different mindsets, different maturities, but yeah, like pretty much everyone's pretty much all in the same boat as well. So it's just about, you just got to enjoy it, man. That's my, I suppose that's my advice for people who might, be attending or they might remember not the time be you told me, on it, but... remember one time you told me that i think you was, i think you got drunk and then some i know who the person you're going to name it in it just stroking your head yeah. off saying blah 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 yeah <laughs> that's a first year stuff man you can't do those moments man it's really like, it's remember, some you madness you know what i mean you can't, you can't do them again yeah man it's just some crazy i'll tell you it's like a soap opera sometimes oh, man oh, like oh. it is man just you could literally make a film or a short series out of that year, man. Sometimes. When we went to that, we went to that, we went to that, I'm saying too much, did it? That stopped me, but since that, nah, that, yeah. that, dodgy, that dodgy house, yeah, and the people, ah, I remember. um, like massive TV people, right. and then man was arguing with this person, I was thinking, Jesus, man, I slept there, yeah, was mad, slept in the morning, man. I didn't even want to be there, and you lot dipped through the middle of the night, thinking, Jesus, man, these, these moments, man, you can't, they're priceless, man. Yeah, you can't. You, you listen. They're always going to be there. You always remember them just because of the experience, man. Like you said, it's the experience itself, man. Um, crazy, good, bad. You know, you just got to enjoy it. Um, yeah, right, listen. Let's wrap it up. Um, I, Jaden, firstly, I'd like to thank you, obviously, for you know taking the time out just to come on and just come and discuss this topic, man. It's been you know brilliant to have you on. You know. Um, and I was just going to say as well, is there any like, are you doing another video soon on your channel um, that viewers might or people might be interested in? Um, there's, not, there's nothing at, There's nothing filmed at the moment. There's nothing else I'm going to film a show. I'm going to film a show like very soon. We literally, I actually went, I was, I was literally on another show like the other week, um, the On Record podcast, if you heard of them, I was on their show. The audio's out for that one. We didn't put a YouTube channel up, a YouTube show on this time, but. Normally it is. Um, this will go on YouTube, obviously. You will... So, so, yeah, follow the, um, the modern model conversation. Um, you, 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 Steve's the man for it, because it's his show. But, yeah, man, I'm going to have a show out soon. I need to, talk to, I need to find a topic to discuss. I'm not certainly sure yet. But, no, nothing nothing definite in the next, next day or two, though. But it will be in the next week. So it should be another show. Yeah, just... that's good. All right, guys, going to wrap it up there, all right? Thank you very much for watching, and hopefully the future content that comes uploaded on air, you'll enjoy. So thank you very much, guys. Now you can stop recording now. I'll edit that out anyway. Right. Oh, you...